Chapter 1081. Kill. After the enormous body of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast smashed into the ground, the entire land trembled. It was as though an earthquake had occurred as numerous arm-thick cracks spread from the spot where it had landed. The body of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast formed an enormous pit in the ground. The intense pain that was transmitted from its eye caused it to emit a painful roar. Fresh blood flowed out of its shattered eye like a small stream. The punch from the earth demon puppet earlier had really caused it to suffer. Bastard, this king will tear all of you into a thousand pieces. The sky poison dragon scorpion beast roared furiously at the sky. Its voice was filled with an incomparable amount of killing intent and fury. This very day was likely the only time he had ever become so miserable since he had taken the form of a human. The sky poison dragon scorpion beast widened its enormous mouth after it had let out that furious roar. Dense, blood-colored energy swiftly agglomerated. Within a short moment, it transformed into a blood-colored light pillar that was half a foot wide. The frightening energy contained within the light pillar caused the surrounding air to form waves of intense ripples. Chi. Its savage head was swung as the blood-colored light pillar cut through the air with a swoosh sound. It was just like reverse lightning as it rushed to the sky. Be careful. Tian Ho Zunji revealed a sober expression when he saw the blood-colored light pillar. This sky poison dragon scorpion beast was about to go crazy. Anyone present would likely not have an easy time if they were to endure such a powerful attack. Xiao Yan had immediately sensed danger from the blood-colored light pillar. Before Tian Ho Zunji issued his warning, he had activated the 3000 lightning movement. Numerous afterimages were left behind in the sky while his actual body strangely disappeared. The blood-colored light pillar possessed a lethal force, and it appeared like a cannon attempting to blast a fly in the face of Xiao Yan, who was as slippery as a loach. Moreover, the sky poison dragon scorpion beast had difficulty precisely controlling the attack due to the intense pain. Therefore, this blood-colored light pillar cut through the air and shot into the distant sky. After which, it disappeared from everyone's sight. Xiao Yan, I will trap it. You should command the earth demon puppet to strike its head. Tian Ho Zunji ordered with a deep voice. His expression became a little grave after having dodged the sky poison dragon scorpion beast's fierce counterattack. Understood. Xiao Yan hurriedly nodded when he heard him. This sky poison dragon scorpion beast was indeed very troublesome to deal with. Two experts who had both reached the strength of an eight-star Du Zong were unable to do anything to it within a short while. Moreover, this was with Xiao Yan aiding them on the side. If Xiao Yan had not destroyed the poison cloud earlier, it was likely that the current situation would have ended up completely different. Tian Ho Zunji's face was serious. A vast and mighty spiritual strength surged out of his body without holding back. While his hands moved, this spiritual strength transformed into a thousand-foot-large invisible net. Go! Tian Ho Zunji waved his sleeves. The enormous net, formed from the spiritual strength, immediately whizzed down. After which, it trapped the large body of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast. The large spiritual net had just made contact with the body of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast when wave after wave of sizzling sounds appeared. This kind of spiritual net could ignore the beast's powerful physical body and restrain its soul. This sudden restraint shocked the sky poison dragon scorpion beast. It hurriedly struggled, but no matter how it moved, the enormous spiritual net appeared just like the maggots in one's bones. It firmly adhered to its body, binding it firmly in the process. Do it? Tian Ho Zunji sternly cried. Xiao Yan nodded once. He curled his finger and the earth demon puppet that had remained in air rocketed down from the sky. After which, it viciously smashed into the body of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast like a cannonball. Its frightening forward momentum caused the beast's body to collapse. Roar. The frightening force that was transmitted from the puppet's body caused the sky poison dragon scorpion beast to emit a crazy and furious roar. Its enormous tail was swung, transforming into a black glint as it shot toward the earth demon puppet on its back. Xiao Yan coldly laughed when he saw this from the sky. His hand seal changed and the fire wolf in the sky that had been formed from the glazed lotus heart flame rushed down with lightning-like speed. After which, it ruthlessly bit the scorpion tail that was about to strike the earth demon puppet. Immediately, wave after wave of sizzling sounds appeared. The fire wolf pounced down and caused a white fog to rise over the body of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast. Its terrifyingly high temperature caused the beast to feel wave after wave of intense searing pain. Bang! Under the dual suppression of the enormous spiritual net and the fire wolf, 
the sky poison dragon scorpion beast was unable to move for a moment despite its large size. It could only struggle, causing the ground to tremble. Crack lines swiftly spread all over it. Bang. A silver glow flashed and appeared on the head of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast. Its bright silvery fist struck out without mercy, firmly landing on the beast's head. The fighting strength of the earth demon puppet was largely determined by its physical body, which had undergone many refinements. Despite its physical body being unable to use any do key, its destructive strength was still terrifying. With this punch from it, even this sky poison dragon scorpion beast, which possessed the strength of an eight-star Du Zong, ended up emitting a miserable wail. Its body struggled, and it started to go crazier. Waves of corrosive strength and dense blood fog swiftly flowed out of the body of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast as it was wildly struggling to escape. The spiritual net of Tian Ho Zunji began to emit a chi chi sound when this strange blood fog formed. Bang. 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 Xiao Yan's expression sank when he saw this scene. The fist of the earth demon puppet was once again tightly clenched. After which, it threw one punch after another, acting like a pile driver as it mercilessly smashed into the same spot on the sky poison dragon scorpion beast's head. A chi chi sound was emitted when the strange blood fog adhered onto the body of the earth demon puppet. The shriveled surface of the puppet's body formed some lines because of this corrosion. Xiao Yan's expression slightly changed when he sensed the transformation of the Earth Demon Puppet. It was unexpected that the poison vapor in the Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion Beast was this fierce. Even the tough physical body of the Earth Demon Puppet was unable to withstand it. A ruthless expression flashed across Xiao Yan's eyes. He really did not believe that the Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion Beast would be able to turn things around in the face of this lineup of theirs. An order was released from Xiao Yan's heart, and a bright silver glow erupted from the body of the Earth Demon Puppet, barely blocking the blood fog. His fist was like a great storm as it landed on the head of the Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion Beast in a crazy manner. The low, deep sounds appeared as though it was beating a drum, causing one's heart to tighten as it did so. With the current physical strength of the Earth Demon Puppet, a single punch could cause an ordinary elite Du Zong to spit out blood. However, this sky poison dragon scorpion beast was relying on its thick hide to endure dozens of punches. Even though this was the case, the crust on the top of its head had finally cracked apart. Fresh blood wildly surged out. One could even vaguely see the whitish organs in its head. Along with this intense pain, the sky poison dragon scorpion beast was shocked to realize that a helpless feeling was slowly spreading out of its heart. Its life appeared to be swiftly leaving its body. At this moment, it finally began to feel afraid. If this continued, it was likely that he would have difficulty escaping this catastrophe. Stop. What exactly do you want? I am a member of the Scorpion Dragon tribe. They will not let you off if you kill me. The Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion Beast single eye turned red as it furiously roared. This time around, there was an additional fear in its roar. We want your monster core. Xiao Yan faintly smiled. He did not give the sky poison dragon scorpion beast even a moment to catch its breath. He clearly understood that if he made even the slightest mistake in the face of a magical beast as strong as the sky poison dragon scorpion beast, it was likely that everything would come to naught. They had spent such a great amount of effort to capture this fellow. If it were allowed to escape, Xiao Yan would really end up losing more than he would gain. Hence, even while Xiao Yan was speaking, the earth demon puppet remained a tireless slaughtering machine as its fist viciously smashed down again and again. Each time it swung its fist, it would cause a fluctuation to spread across space. A circular invisible ripple would spread each time its fist landed. This kind of spreading force shattered the flesh on the surface of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast. Even with the tough body of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast, it was somewhat unable to endure any longer after forcefully receiving so many heavy blows from the earth demon puppet. An aura of death covered its heart. In the face of this kind of feeling of death, a viciousness surged into the remaining eye of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast that was staring at Xiao Yan. A moment later, it finally spoke in a dense voice, I, Mohi, shall use the bloodline of the scorpion dragon tribe to swear that you will have to flee for the rest of your life while being chased by my scorpion dragon tribe. The final blood red eye of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast fell out of its face after its words were voiced. After which, it exploded. A tiny blood glow penetrated the air at a shocking speed before entering Xiao Yan's body in a lightning-like manner. The speed of this blood glow was extremely frightening. Even Xiao Yan could only blink his eyes. 
he did not possess any ability to dodge it. The Scorpion Dragon tribe will not let you off. You will not be able to escape. The Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion Beast viciously laughed. Two blood streams flowed out of its enormous eyes, giving it an extremely frightening appearance. Xiao Yan's expression became gloomy. He moved his hand seal, and the body of the Earth Demon Puppet immediately unleashed an extremely bright silver glow. It gathered all of its strength before smashing its fist down. Following this punch, one could see space crack apart. A half-foot-wide dark black hole formed. Bang! The frightening punch contained a shocking strength as it ruthlessly smashed the head of the Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion Beast. Under this frightening strength, its large head let out a boom sound as it transformed into a countless number of bloody pieces of flesh. The innumerable number of beasts lingering in the distance immediately ceased their uproar after the head of the Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion Beast exploded. A moment later, they scattered. Their fleeing speed was even faster than when they were charging here. End of chapter. Chapter 1082. Successful Obtainment. The instant the head of the Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion Beast burst apart, the fat and skinny experts, who were fighting with the little fairy doctor, also sensed something. They turned their heads and looked at the enormous cold corpse, which was lying on the ground in the distance. Their expressions suddenly and drastically changed. The eyes of the two looked at the corpse of the Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion Beast. Disbelief filled their eyes. Being the beast's subordinates, they were clearly aware of its strength. Even though there were a countless number of vicious poison beings within this fallen god stream, the strength of the Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion Beast was ranked among the top. In the past, there were some human experts who had come to provoke it, but their fates were to become part of the yellow soil in this region. The fierce reputation of the Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion Beast was something that no one dared offend during these years. Unfortunately, the scene that it appeared today had caused the fierce reputation of the Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion Beast to completely disappear. The skinny, yellow-clothed man stared at the corpse of the Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion Beast with flickering eyes. After which, he looked at Xiao Yan's group again. His throat quivered. Other than Xiao Yan, the remaining two people gave him an extremely dangerous feeling. This kind of feeling was something that he had sensed on the Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion Beast in the past. Clearly, these two were existences that were on the same level as the Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion Beast. I wonder how Leader offended such an expert. They actually came hunting for him. The yellow-clothed man's eyes flickered as this thought swiftly lingered in his heart. You dared or kill Leader? The Scorpion Dragon tribe will definitely not let you off. The fat expert, who looked like a small mountain, was dull for a moment before he finally recovered. He furiously roared, Gan Hu, attack, take revenge for the leader. The flicker in the eyes of the yellow-clothed man became more intense. He immediately clenched his teeth and said in a deep voice, I will not accompany you if you wish to seek death. His toes pressed on the ground after those words sounded, and he withdrew in a lightning-like manner. Within a couple of breaths, he had transformed into a blurry figure that disappeared into the distance. The fat man was stunned when he saw the yellow-clothed man fleeing at the last moment. His face immediately flushed red as he furiously cursed, you cowardly fellow. Are you going to leave by yourself or should I attack? The little fairy doctor slowly walked over while he was cursing. Her pretty eyes stared at the fat man as she asked him a question with a smile. That fat man's face quivered when he saw the little fairy doctor slowly walking over. After the fight earlier, he was aware that this lady, who seemed to be smaller than his arm, possessed an unusually frightening strength. Even when he had joined hands with Gan Hu, they were barely able to hold her back. Now that Gan Hu had fled, how could he alone be a match for the little fairy doctor? The scorpion dragon tribe will not let you off. The expression of the fat man changed before he finally let out a furious cry. After which, he turned around and his small, mountain-like body rumbled as it transformed into a ray of light that fled into the distance. Although his body was large, he was not a fool. If he remained behind in such a situation, it was likely that he would not be able to escape death. This group of people could even kill the Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion Beast, much less him. The little fairy doctor watched as the fat man fled into the distance. She let out a slight smile. Her body moved and appeared beside Xiao Yan. She lowered her head to look at the enormous body of the Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion Beast on the ground, settled. Xiao Yan grinned and nodded. He immediately sighed in relief. This Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion Beast was indeed extremely difficult to deal with. 
If he did not have the Earth Demon Puppet and Tian Ho Zunji, it would have been very difficult to kill this big fellow with his strength unless he used the Angry Buddha Lotus Flame. Let's swiftly take the items we need. The commotion this battle created is too large. It is unavoidable for it to attract the attention of the other fierce magical beasts in the Fallen God stream. If we are careless, we might end up with another fierce battle the little fairy doctor whispered. The poisoned beings in this Fallen God stream were extremely ferocious. Any that possessed some strength were definitely extraordinary. Xiao Yan nodded in agreement. His hand grabbed toward the body of the sky poisoned dragon scorpion beast. A suction force surged out and slowly lifted it until it was suspended in the air. Xiao Yan glanced at the large corpse in front of him. His face appeared a little solemn. The seal formed by his hands changed and the enormous jade green fire wolf burst apart, transforming into a fierce flame that swept over the body of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast. Its frighteningly high temperature spread and a distortion appeared in the surrounding space. Amid the burning of the glazed lotus heart flame, the enormous corpse of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast swiftly shrank. Its skin, shell, and flesh slowly turned white under the high temperature. Finally, they transformed into ashes and scattered down. Xiao Yan's expression did not change as watched the corpse that was swiftly shrinking while ashes scattered. Instead, he increased the temperature. What he needed was the essence blood of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast. This kind of essence blood would only appear after undergoing refinement and lots of burning. Under this high temperature, the fresh blood on the surface of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast was swiftly vaporized. The blood vessels of those injuries also turned pale white. The body of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast diminished as the glazed lotus heart flame's temperature continued to rise. In the end, it was only five feet in size. At this moment, the sky poison dragon scorpion beast had turned into a blood-colored ball of meat, rotating within the jade green flame. Xiao Yan controlled the flame's temperature. A moment later, he flicked his finger and the blood-colored ball of meat immediately cracked, forming a fissures in its body. Half a fist large blood-colored crystal rushed out and headed toward Xiao Yan. With a grabbing motion, Xiao Yan caught this fresh blood-like crystal in his hand. He sensed a vast and mighty energy within it, and a pleased expression involuntarily flashed across his eyes. He had finally obtained the monster core of this rank 7 sky poison dragon scorpion beast. Xiao Yan's hand slowly rubbed the crystal core in a gentle manner before he carefully stored it in his storage ring. He raised his eyes, and they paused on the blood-colored flesh in the flame. There was still the powerful essence blood of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast within. After gently clenching his hand, the jade green flame that lingered outside of the blood-colored ball of meat began to rapidly spin. A terrifying tearing force, ungoverned by any rules, swiftly formed within it. After which, it ruthlessly squeezed the ball of blood-colored meat. The blood-colored ball of meat trembled intensely as the flame wildly spun. It repeatedly rotated left and right. In the face of such a rotation, droplets of somewhat purplish-colored blood were slowly revealed from within the meat. A pleased look appeared on the corner of Xiao Yan's mouth when he saw the scene. He maintained this kind of tearing force and gradually squeezed out the pure essence blood within that cluster of meat. With an increasing amount of essence blood dripping down, the blood-red ball of meat gradually turned a pale white color. This kind of pale whiteness was a kind of lifeless color. The essence blood was the source of a magical beast's life. Once the essence blood was drained, it indicated that its life had also vanished. The pale white color gradually spread from the high-speed rotation of the flame. Around 10 minutes later, the last trace of blood coloring finally faded quietly from the ball of meat. The moment the last thread of blood color gradually disappeared, the ball of meat violently trembled and collapsed, transforming into pale white ashes that scattered down. Xiao Yan sighed in relief as he watched the ball of meat collapse and burst apart. His gaze landed on the flame. There was a cluster of purple-red liquid blood the size of a fist there. Despite being a great distance away, Xiao Yan was able to sense the powerful energy that was spreading from this liquid blood. Store it quickly. This kind of essence blood possesses a potent allure to other magical beasts. The little fairy doctor hurriedly reminded while sighing in relief after seeing the essence blood successfully refined by Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan smiled and nodded. He beckoned with his finger, and the purple-red liquid blood flew out. After which, he took out a jade bottle and carefully stored the blood into it. Old Mr. Yao, this is the essence blood required to help refine your body. You will once again be able to use a physical body soon. 
Xiao Yan waved the jade bottle in his hand toward Tian Ho Zunji by the side as he spoke with a smile. A hearty smile involuntarily surfaced on Tian Ho Zunji's face when he heard this. He nodded in relief. It had been so many years. He was finally going to possess a body again. At the same time, he would once again sense the comfort of having Du Qi flow within his body. Little fellow, the old me is really right about you. This favor, the old me will not forget it for the rest of my life. Tian Ho Zunji's illusionary hand patted Xiao Yan's shoulders. Even with his calmness, he still felt somewhat excited in his heart. Back then, he had placed his hopes in Xiao Yan in his desperate state because he had no other choice. However, he was quite pleased with the final result. Xiao Yan slightly smiled as he sincerely said, Old Mr. Yao has been a great help to me. If I do not put in all my effort, would I not be considered an inhumane and unjust person? Tian Ho Zunji fondled his beard and let out a heartfelt sigh, I really envy your teacher for having such an outstanding disciple. Xiao Yan softly laughed, but did not add anything to this topic. His eyes swept around him. Due to the death of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast, this region had become dead quiet. There was not the least bit of unusual sound. Let's go. We should leave this place first. The commotion we caused was too great. It is likely that someone will come and investigate. It is best that we leave first. The little fairy doctor softly suggested. All right. Xiao Yan smiled and nodded. He rubbed his storage ring and laughed, since we have obtained everything, we will proceed to the most important step next. Xiao Yan waved his hand after speaking. He took the lead and turned around. After which, he hurriedly rushed to the north. The little fairy doctor brought Xin Lan along and followed close behind him. This region once again fell silent after Xiao Yan's group left. Only the enormous pit in the ground represented the soul-stirring fight that had erupted at this spot earlier. End of chapter. Chapter 1083. Refining the Yin-Yang Life Soul Pill. A dense poison fog lingered in the air of a small valley in the northern region of the Fallen God Stream. This fog made it difficult for one to clearly see the interior of the valley. If one looked from a closer spot, one would coincidentally see a couple of figures standing in it. They were Xiao Yan's group, which had just obtained the monster core and the essence blood of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast. Based on what Xin Lan has said, the Ice River Valley's experts should have already entered the Fallen God stream. Perhaps, they will find us quite soon. A bonefire was burning within the valley, emitting some light from the flame, as Xiao Yan voiced his thoughts. Yes. Moreover, there is an existence at the peak of the Du's own class, among those who arrived this time around. Xin Lan nodded. Her face was grave. The peak of the Du's own class, a strength was even greater than that of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast. Although Xiao Yan currently had two eight-star Du's own beings around him, it was likely very hard for them to obtain the upper hand in such a fight. After all, the peak of the Du Zun class was the strongest among the experts below the Du Zun class. The little fairy doctor and Yan Ho Zunji by the side also nodded. They had a good understanding of this level. Even with Tian Hu Zunji's pride, he had no choice but to admit that it was extremely difficult for him to fight an expert at the peak of the Du Zun class in his current condition. Hence, we must settle the body of old Mr. Yao or the woeful poison body of the little fairy doctor before they find us. Otherwise, it is likely that the situation will not be favorable. Xiao Yan spoke with a serious tone. The little fairy doctor and Yan Ho Zunji nodded when they heard this. In this current situation, the strength of either of them would soar if they could settle their respective problems. Thus, they would have the ability to fight even when faced with an expert at the peak of the Du Zong class from the Ice River Valley. You should help old Mr. Yao refine a body first. He was an elite Du Zun in the past. Even though he might not be able to quickly recover his peak strength after he obtains a body, it should not be difficult for him to advance to the Du Zun class. This woeful poison body of mine has never been completely controlled by anyone in the past. We are not certain what will happen after it is controlled. Therefore, I suggest that old Mr. Yao should have the priority. The little fairy doctor mused for a moment before she gave a serious suggestion. Xiao Yan revealed an expression of deep thought after hearing the little fairy doctor's analysis. Helping Tian Ho Zunji first was indeed the safest bet. The woeful poison body is a unique natural body. When it erupts, even an elite Du Zun must temporarily hide from it. If you are able to control it, it is likely that your achievements will be extremely shocking. Tian Ho Zunji fondled his beard as he slowly spoke. Old Mr. Yao has praised me too much. The little fairy doctor curled her lips and smiled. 
The little fairy doctor is right. I will help old Mr. Yao refine a body first in order to resolve the current threat. Xiao Yan nodded and finally made his decision. He continued in a deep voice, in that case, I will first resolve old Mr. Yao's problem. I will now begin refining the yin yang life soul pill. All of you must guard me during this period of time and should avoid leaving this place so you don't attract any trouble. Xiao Yan ceased hesitating after making up his mind. He immediately began preparing after saying he would do it. His body moved and appeared on an enormous rock in the valley. With a wave of his hand, the 10,000 beast cauldron appeared and remained steadily suspended in the air. The little fairy doctor and the others nodded when they saw Xiao Yan begin to refine the pill. After which, they slowly withdrew and guarded him. Xiao Yan waved his hand, and a jade green flame appeared. After which, it was randomly thrown into the medicinal cauldron by Xiao Yan. He rubbed his storage ring with his hand, and numerous medicinal ingredients continuously flew out of it. Finally, all of them remained suspended in the air as well. Xiao Yan's eyes carefully observed these medicinal ingredients. After finding that there was no problem with them, he slowly shut his eyes. The medicinal formula of the yin-yang life soul pill slowly flowed across his mind like flowing water. The various key points regarding the refinement were being familiarized by Xiao Yan at this moment. Xiao Yan's eyes were opened a moment later. He gently inhaled a breath of air and moved his finger. An extremely bright and beautiful flower rushed down. However, strangely there was a person's face at the center of the flower. Its eyes, nose and mouth were all lifelike. Looking at it gave one the creeps. Ghost face flower. The name of this flower flashed across Xiao Yan's heart. This was one of the key ingredients in refining the yin yang life soul pill. It was extremely rare. Xiao Yan did not know just where Xin Lan had obtained it from. However, it seemed that she had put in a lot of effort to gather the ingredients. Xiao Yan glanced at this flower that gave one the creeps. He flicked his finger, and the ghost face flower was thrown into the medicinal cauldron. The jade green flame swept over and wrapped around it. Ah! The ghost face flower had just been tossed into the flame when waves of black vapor were emitted from it. At the same time, a screeching baby cry was reverberated from the medicinal cauldron. Xiao Yan knit his brows. He did not expect this ghost face flower to be this strange. However, regardless of how strange it was, it was powerless to resist a heavenly flame. A thought passed through Xiao Yan's mind and Du Qi covered both of his ears, isolating the baby's cry as it did so. He clenched his hand, and the flame's temperature suddenly soared. With the great increase in the flame's temperature, the black vapor emitted from the interior of the ghost face flower swiftly became fainter. In the end, it completely disappeared. Having lost the protection of the black vapor, the ghost face flower immediately withered. The human face also gradually disappeared. Around 10 minutes later, the flower finally burst apart and turned into a pile of dark black powder. Xiao Yan did not immediately withdraw the flame after the powder appeared. Instead, he grilled this pile of powder for some time until it revealed a cold luster. Only then did a thought pass through his mind. The cluster of flames wrapped around the dark black powder and left it suspended in one corner of the medicinal cauldron. Xiao Yan took a fist-sized red-colored fruit after having completed refining this ghost face flower. Wave after wave of dense cold air poured out of the fruit. Soul Revival Demon Fruit. This strange fruit is really beneficial to the training of spiritual strength. It is likely that I need to prepare a little more of it in the future for any unexpected situations. Xiao Yan's eyes swept over that red-colored fruit. He flicked his finger and threw it into the medicinal cauldron. While Xiao Yan continued the refinement of the medicinal pill, the medicinal ingredients suspended in air were gradually thrown into the medicinal cauldron. Xiao Yan was extremely careful about refining this pill because he knew that if this yin yang life soul pill refinement were to fail, the matter of Tian Ho Zunji's revival would be delayed for a period of time. In the face of the great enemy descending upon them, they no longer had much time to squander. The little fairy doctor and the others stayed a hundred meters away while Xiao Yan was refining the pill. No one emitted the slightest sound, afraid they would disturb his pill refinement. Moreover, all the poisoned beasts within a thousand meter radius of the small valley were expelled or killed by the little fairy doctor and Tian Ho Zunji through all sorts of means. They performed their roles as protectors quite well. Time swiftly flowed by while Xiao Yan undertook a retreat to refine this pill. Two days passed in the blink of an eye. The area to the south of the fallen god stream, where the sky poisoned dragon scorpion beast resided back then, 
was completely quiet due to the sky poison dragon scorpion beast having been finished off by Xiao Yan's group. At this moment, it was completely quiet. It was no longer covered in a poison vapor like it had been back then. The enormous rock fortress appeared exceptionally empty. It no longer possessed the domineering aura that existed when the sky poison dragon scorpion beast was residing in it. Waves of rushing wind sounds appeared a thousand meters from the rock fortress. A moment later, many white figures appeared on the flat land outside of the rock fortress. Old Shi, the energy ripple that we sensed two days ago should have originated from this place. An elder's gaze swept around the rock fortress before he respectfully spoke to that old man at the side, who was holding a snake walking stick. There is no longer any aura in this place. The old man who was addressed as Old Shi paused his eyes on the rock fortress as he faintly commented. From what I know, this should be the Sky Scorpion region. It is managed by a Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion beast that has reached the strength of an 8-star Duzong. However, from the looks of it now. Another old man frowned and revealed what he knew. Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion Beast. Old Shi narrowed his eyes and slowly said. This place has the remnant aura of a corpse. If I have guessed correctly, that fellow should have been finished off. What? That fellow possessed a strength of an 8-star Duzong. Even in this fallen god stream, it is one of the few such existences. Who is able to kill it? The remaining people exclaimed after hearing this. Other than the corpse aura, there are traces on the ground that show that it has been grilled at high temperature. Clearly, it is someone who possesses a great control of fire. From the remnant souls of the Ice River Valley's disciples back then, I discovered that there is a young man among them who controls a kind of extremely powerful flame. If I have guessed correctly, this should have been done by that group. Old Shi grabbed some grass and gently pinched the blades. The grass turned into dust when he did so. Done by that group? They are this strong? The expressions of the remaining three white-clothed elders changed. That was an eight-star Duzong. They were able to easily kill Bing Fu and the two others. What is there to be surprised about them being able to fight with an eight-star Duzong? Old Shi faintly smiled. He slowly stood up and turned his eyes to the north of the fallen god stream. His shriveled face revealed a strange smile. However, the air still possesses the remnant aura of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast. It is likely they took its monster core. We should be able to find them if we follow this aura. Old Shi is wise. The three white clothed bold man rejoiced and respectfully praised him when they heard his words. Old Shi randomly waved his hand. He gripped the snake walking stick and slowly walked to the north of the fallen god stream. A faint laugh was slowly being emitted from him. The old me is really becoming curious about this group of people. Not only have they housed the poison lady, but they have also come here to kill this sky poison dragon scorpion beast for no reason. Ha ha, not bad. The three old men behind faced each other. They immediately let out cold laughs. They really did not know whether it was those fellows' misfortune or honor that stirred the interest of old she. Those who offend the Ice River Valley will not come to a good end. What pitiful individuals. End of chapter. Chapter 1084. Refining a Body. A hot air wave was flowing to and fro within the quiet small valley, causing the poison fog in the air to continuously pale. There was a human figure sitting on an enormous rock in the valley. An enormous crimson medicinal cauldron was suspended in the air in front of the figure. Jade green flames burned fiercely within the cauldron. The hot air wave of the valley was spreading from this place. A couple of human figures were standing a hundred meters away from this enormous rock. Their gazes were gathered on the medicinal cauldron. It has already been six days. Sheen Lan looked at the focused human figure on the enormous rock, sighed softly, and commented. A tier 7 medicinal pill is not easy to refine. Naturally, one must spend some time. The little fairy doctor was not surprised. She softly said, moreover, the pill key within the medicinal cauldron is becoming denser. It is likely that it will not be long until the pill is formed. Sheen Lan nodded when she heard the little fairy doctor's explanation. She was just about to speak when the medicinal cauldron, a short distance away, suddenly shook. A clear buzzing sound rippled from it and reverberated over the valley. What is it? This unexpected change caused the little fairy doctor and the others to hurriedly throw their gazes over. An unusually dense pill key suddenly spat out from the medicinal cauldron like a volcano after it emitted a buzzing sound. One could vaguely see the origin of the pill key seemed to be from a round medicinal pill wrapped in a jade green flame. Is it about to form a pill? The little fairy doctor felt joyful when she sensed the density of this pill key. 
In front of the focus of the little fairy doctor's group, the pill key being spat out from the medicinal cauldron became denser. In the end, almost the entire valley was permeated by this pill fragrance that braced one's attention. Clearly, this was an indication that a pill was about to be formed. Although the Yin Yang Life Soul pill was at the tier 7 middle grade level, it was not very difficult to refine. Additionally, with the experience of having aided Tang Zhen in refining the Fire Bodhisattva pill, the refinement this time around was unexpectedly smooth. Everything seemed to progress naturally, and not even the slightest mistake appeared along the way. Xiao Yan slowly opened his narrowed eyes while the pill key spewed forth. He looked at this scene, and a pleased expression surfaced on his face. The spewing pill key became fiercer. In the end, it broke through the layer of poison fog in the sky. Having been summoned by this dense pill key, dark clouds swiftly began to gather in the sky. A joy immediately appeared in Xiao Yan's eyes when he saw the scene. He did not expect the Yin Yang Life Soul pill to attract pill lightning. Pill lightning, that was the greatest headache for Alchemist, was something that Xiao Yan loved to see because his Earth Demon puppet would be strengthened after a pill lightning refinement. The last time around, the Earth Demon puppet was strengthened to the point that it could contend with an 8-star Du Zong. Xiao Yan wondered just what level the Earth Demon puppet would reach if it was to experience pill lightning again. While Xiao Yan excitedly summoned the Earth Demon puppet once again, the dark clouds that had gathered in the sky suddenly paused after which, they became distorted. Although there were some muffled thunderous sounds, a scene where lightning cut through the distant air and fell did not occur. Instead, after some squirming, the dark clouds gradually scattered. The sudden scattering of the pill lightning was just like a basin of cold water being splashed on Xiao Yan's head, extinguishing all of his excitement. This? Why did the pill lightning disappear by itself? Xiao Yan was stunned as he looked at the dark clouds in the air, before he bitterly laughed a moment later. Big Brother Xiao Yan, the poison fog within the Fallen God stream, is far too dense. Perhaps it is because the poison vapor has covered the pill key, causing the pill lightning to fail to find its target and ended up scattering by itself. The little fairy doctor's group was also stunned by this scene. After which, Xin Lan mused for a moment before finally crying out loud. Xiao Yan could only nod his head when he heard this. After his earlier absent-mindedness, his heart understood what had occurred was indeed partly due to the poison vapor covering the land here. However, there was another reason. It was that the yin-yang life soul pill was unable to attract pill lightning. This kind of medicinal pill might be considered a tier 7 middle grade pill, but strictly speaking, it had only barely reached the middle grade. If it was not due to the unique effects of the pill, it would be only a tier 7 low grade level. The pill key that it emitted was perhaps unable to attract pill lightning. This, along with the poisonous vapor hiding, caused the pill lightning to gradually scatter after it had appeared. Unlucky. However, I'm pressed for time and don't have the time to deal with pill lightning. Xiao Yan quietly voiced his unluckiness in his heart before he waved his hand. The black-red medicinal pill within the medicinal cauldron was sucked out. This is the yin-yang life soul pill huh? Xiao Yan's eyes observed the medicinal pill in his hand as he muttered to himself. This medicinal pill was the size of a dragon's eye. It was both black and red in color. It had a rounded surface that contained a brilliant luster. When one's hand rubbed over it, one would feel an icy coldness on one side, while the other was warm, causing one to feel a great comfort. Since the medicinal pill has been successfully refined, next will be the refinement of the body. Xiao Yan gently inhaled a breath of air. He randomly stored away the medicinal cauldron and waved his hand. A corpse that was covered in ice appeared. This corpse was that of Yun Shan from the Misty Cloud sect. Originally, Xiao Yan had prepared it for Yao Lao back then. However, a corpse of this level could no longer catch Xiao Yan's eyes. It would be used to conduct an experiment. After summoning the corpse, the body refining method that Yao Lao had taught Xiao Yan flowed into his mind. A moment later, he quietly nodded. He waved his hand, and an invisible wind dragged the corpse, suspending it in the air. Xiao Yan waved his hand, and a wisp of glazed lotus heart flame appeared. It emitted a puff sound as wrapped around the corpse. The cold ice on the corpse swiftly melted under the frighteningly high temperature of the glazed lotus heart flame. Old Mr. Yao, hand me a thread of spiritual strength. Xiao Yan spoke in a deep voice as he looked at the ice that swiftly scattered. Hearing this, a thread of spiritual strength was immediately separated from between Yan Ho Zunji's brows. After which, this spiritual strength drifted to Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan grabbed the spiritual strength and randomly tossed it into the corpse. 
after which, the yin yang life soul pill was tossed at Yan Ho Zun Ji. Consume it. Once I give the word, you should immediately enter this body. Tian Ho Zun Ji nodded with a grave expression. He stuffed the medicinal pill into his mouth without any hesitation. An excitement was flickering in his eyes. Xiao Yan swiftly took out a jade bottle from his storage ring after seeing that Tian Ho Zun Ji had consumed the medicinal pill. The interior of the jade bottle was filled with a purple red colored blood. A shockingly wild and violent energy seeped out of it. This was the essence blood of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast. Xiao Yan's hand squeezed with a great force, and the jade bottle burst apart. The large cluster of liquid blood scattered. With a wave of Xiao Yan's hand, all of the blood landed on the body surrounded by flames. Waves of sizzling sounds were suddenly emitted when the liquid blood had just made contact with the corpse. One could see the skin of the corpse began to swiftly rot. This change did not cause Xiao Yan's expression to alter. After an indifferent glance, Xiao Yan commanded the glazed lotus heart flame and suddenly increased its temperature. Following the increase in the temperature of the glazed lotus heart flame, the blood that adhered to the corpse began to slowly seep into it in a strange manner. The originally pale white flesh was gradually filled with life when the essence blood merged with it. Around half an hour after the essence blood gradually merged into the corpse, Yun Shan's tightly shut eyes were suddenly opened. His empty eyes contained a fluctuating life force. Of course, this life force was not Yun Shan's life force. Instead, it was due to the threat of soul from Tian Ho Zun Ji. When Yun Shan opened his eyes, Xiao Yan suddenly let out a deep cry, Old Mr. Yao, enter. Tian Ho Zun Ji, who had already been waiting for the order by the side, was filled with excitement when he heard Xiao Yan's cry. After which, his illusionary figure rushed into the corpse. After which, he penetrated through the glazed lotus heart flame and pounced into the corpse, which was covered in a red-colored glow. A strange black-red ripple emitted from the middle of Tian Ho Zun Ji's brows the moment his soul made contact with the corpse. The ripple spread at lightning-like speed as it covered the entire body. Puff. The soul of Tian Ho Zun Ji and the corpse suddenly collided as the black-red ripple spread. This time around, the collision did not repel the soul. Instead, the soul slowly merged into the body. Is it successfully completed? Xin Lan and the little fairy doctor by the side were unable to control their joy as they asked after seeing Tian Ho Zun Ji's soul merge with the body. Not yet. Old Mr. Yao must endure the burning of the heavenly flame and gradually obtain control of the body. Only then can he be considered to have truly revived from the flames. Xiao Yan's expression was solemn as he shook his head. The subsequent step was the most important one. If Tian Ho Zun Ji was unable to endure the burning of the heavenly flame, it was likely that not only would this physical body be wasted, but his soul would also suffer a fatal blow. The both of you should head to the entrance of the valley and stand guard there. The earth demon puppet will aid you. Remember, do not allow anyone to enter. Xiao Yan instructed them in a deep voice. The little fairy doctor and Xin Lan nodded when they heard him. They grabbed the earth demon puppet and slowly stepped back. Finally, they came to a stop at the entrance of the valley. Xiao Yan turned his gaze away after seeing this. He looked at the corpse with a painful expression, burning within the heavenly flame in the air. His fist slowly tightened. You must endure. The burning of the heavenly flame continued for two days. Even though this was the case, the flame burning outside of the corpse did not disappear. However, the pain on the face of the corpse was gradually reduced, perhaps as a result of it having become numb. Moreover, a hidden mighty aura was quietly brewing within the body. Another day passed. On this day, the slight sound of rushing wind suddenly appeared a distance from the valley that had been quiet for a long while. A moment later, a white-clothed man carrying a snake-shaped walking stick slowly appeared at a spot around a hundred meters from the entrance of the valley. Many white figures appeared one after another behind him. Kiki, the poison fog of this fallen god valley is really too dense. It even hid the scent of the monster core. However, we have finally found them. The old man holding the snake-shaped walking stick looked at the valley. His smile was exceptionally dense. End of chapter. Chapter 1085. Peak of the Dews on Class. The entrance to the valley was a path that was a couple of dozen feet wide. The little fairy doctor and Sheen Lan were seated cross-legged on the walls beside the path. The earth demon puppet, with its hollow eyes, was beside them. Sheen Lan held her cheeks with her hand as her gaze repeatedly swept over the valley. There had been no commotion in the valley during these couple of days of waiting. She really did not know how things were progressing. Ugh. Sheen Lan softly sighed. 
She stretched her lazy waist and was just about to speak to the little fairy doctor beside her, when the little fairy doctor's tightly shut eyes were suddenly opened. A grave expression instantly surged onto her pretty face. What is it? Sheen Lan was shocked when she saw the appearance of the little fairy doctor, and she hurriedly asked. The people from the Ice River Valley. Have arrived. An icy cold glint flashed across the little fairy doctor's pretty eyes. She slowly stood up from the ground as a faint killing intent gradually wreathed out of her body. Sheen Lan's expression also changed when she heard the little fairy doctor's words. Her eyes hurriedly looked to the outside of the valley. She indeed saw some white figures in the distance. You are the woeful poison lady, right? While Sheen Lan was looking at the area outside of the valley, an indifferent old voice was suddenly transmitted from the distance. After which, it landed in the ears of the little fairy doctor and Sheen Lan. The little fairy doctor did not reply to this voice. An icy cold expression was present in her eyes. She clenched his fist, and grayish purple dew key slowly extended out like two enormous pythons. Immediately, they meandered around her body. A gentle ripple was suddenly formed in the air at the entrance to the valley, not long after the old voice sounded. Immediately, a hunched-backed figure, holding a snake-shaped walking stick, slowly appeared in front of the little fairy doctor's and Sheen Lan's eyes. Following the appearance of this hunched-backed figure, sounds of wind parting appeared behind him. A moment later, numerous white figures landed behind the hunchbacked figure in an orderly fashion. This group of people was silent after making their appearance. The killing intent was vaguely and slowly spreading at the same time, causing the surrounding poison gas to scatter. The little fairy doctor's eyes narrowed when the old man holding a snake-shaped walking stick appeared. She quietly tightened her hands and said in a clear cool voice, it is indeed an expert at the peak of the Duzong class. This ice river valley is really willing to put in the effort. Ha ha, it is not overboard for the old me to act for the woeful poison lady. Moreover, according to the rules of my ice river valley, those who have killed the elders of my valley will also be captured and put to death. The old man holding the snake-shaped walking stick was naturally the elder Tianchi from the Ice River Valley, who had entered the Fallen God stream in search of Xiaoyan's group. At this moment, his narrow eyes were looking at the little fairy doctor above him. He smiled slightly while his voice contained an unconcerned tone. He is Ice River Valley's elder Tianchi? Xin Lan, who was behind the little fairy doctor, revealed a somewhat pale white face due to the large group of Ice River Valley's experts that had appeared. When her eyes paused on that old man, her paleness grew even more intense as she involuntarily cried out. Elder Tianchi? The little fairy doctor was startled. Immediately, her face changed a little. Even someone like her, who had entered the pill region a short while ago, had heard of this person's name. It was rumored that this old fellow was not only strong, but had also practiced the ice zone force of the ice river valley to a peak level. An ordinary Du Zong was unable to even last 10 exchanges against him. Moreover, each time this person fought, he would not leave anyone alive. Additionally, he relied on the overbearingness of his ice zun force to freeze his opponents into lifelike ice sculptures, causing one to feel terrified just by looking at it. The fierce reputation of this old fellow was quite well known in this middle region. The little fairy doctor had not expected the Ice River Valley to dispatch this old demon. Why are there only the two of you? I remember there seemed to be a young man and a spiritual body that possessed a great strength, no? Tianchi gently stuck the snake-shaped walking stick into the ground as he laughed, asked the both of them to come out. Today, the old me shall not let anyone off. Otherwise, it would be difficult for me to account to the valley chief. I'm afraid that you don't have that ability. The little fairy doctor coldly laughed. She turned her head to Xin Lan and said, head to the valley. Look after Xiao Yan and Yan Ho Zun Ji. Xin Lan hesitated for a moment after hearing her words. However, after thinking about how she would only be a burden to the little fairy doctor, she could only clench her teeth and swiftly withdraw. After which, she leaped into the valley. It seems that all of them have hidden the valley. Could it be that they were injured when fighting the sky poison dragon scorpion beast the last time? Tianchi was unconcerned about Xin Lan leaving. None of these people would be able to flee today. The little fairy doctor knit her eyebrows. She did not expect this old demon to be aware of their fight with the sky poison dragon scorpion beast. He was indeed somewhat skilled. Old she, leave this woman to us. You can just rest. One of the three white clothed bold men beside Tian, she glanced at the little fairy doctor before speaking in a respectful manner. There's no need. The old me is also extremely interested in this woeful poison lady. Tianchi suddenly rubbed the back of his ear when he spoke until this point. 
there was a brown scar at that spot. An ugly hole was vaguely present in the scar. It was as though the flesh had been dug out of that spot. It caused one to shiver when looking at it. Tianxi rubbed this brown scar. A chill suddenly surged out of both of his eyes. I can't remember just when I exchanged blows with that last person that had the woeful poison body. However, I have a deep memory of that person. Today, allow the old me to see just what level this woeful poison body has reached. The three white-clothed bold men looked at each other after hearing this. None of them dared to say anything more. Being defeated by the expert who possessed the woeful poison body back then had left a bloody scar in the heart of Jianxi. They did not dare to say anything over this matter. All of you should guard the four corners of this valley. Do not allow anyone to escape. Tianxi lifted the snake-shaped walking stick as he slowly walked forward. After which, his feet stepped on empty air as he climbed to through the air. His eyes glanced at the little fairy doctor and the earth demon puppet beside her before laughing with a feigned voice, other than you, there will not be anyone else alive in this valley. The little fairy doctor's face was icy cold. Her eyes swept over the valley without leaving a trace, while her hands involuntarily tightened. There was still no activity within the valley. It seemed that the merger of Tian Ho Zunji with his physical body had yet to finish. I can only try my best to delay the time. Hopefully, Xiao Yan can increase the speed of the merger. The little fairy doctor inhaled a gentle breath. She shifted her legs. Her foot had just stepped forward when the earth demon puppet seemed to have been dragged by something. A boom sound appeared as its foot stomped violently on the ground. After which, it rushed toward Tianxi in the sky. The little fairy doctor hurriedly followed after seeing this. The vast and mighty Du Qi on her palms transformed into two grayish-purple large Du Qi pythons. They emitted a hissing sound as they cut through the distant air and bit at Jianxi. Is this that puppet? It is indeed a little extraordinary. However, the true peak of the Du Zong class is not someone you can fight against by relying on numbers. Jianxi smiled indifferently in the face of the earth demon puppet as it led the attack. He clenched his shriveled hand, and one could see the space in front of the earth demon puppet fluctuate. A moment later, it transformed into a real substance. Bang. The earth demon puppet violently collided against the space wall. The rebounding effect returned most of the force to the body of the puppet, sending the earth demon puppet flying. Tianxi slowly raised his shriveled hand after randomly forcing back the earth demon puppet. After which, he faced the little fairy doctor and made a sudden grabbing motion. Immediately, a ten-foot-large cold air palm shot out and grabbed the two large grayish-purple dookie pythons. With a ruthless pinch, the two enormous pythons crumbled, transforming into countless energy spots that scattered to the ground. A cold smile surfaced on Yanshi's face after having shattered the enormous pythons. He waved his hand, and an enormous palm appeared in front of the little fairy doctor in a lightning-like fashion. After which, it was violently slammed down. The little fairy doctor's pretty face changed slightly when she sensed the shocking cold air that had suddenly arrived. She could sense the circulation of the Du Qi within her body was clogged in the face of this shocking cold air. What powerful ice zone force. A seriousness surged onto the little fairy doctor's face. Dense, grayish-purple Du Qi swiftly surged out of her body. After which, it gathered above her head. Bang. The large cold ice palm landed without any obstruction, colliding with her grayish-purple Du Qi. Frightening cold air surged out. Immediately, tiny ice flakes surfaced on her grayish-purple Du Qi. The enormous palm completely smashed the little fairy doctor's defenses in a tricky manner. Grug. Her defenses were easily broken, and the enormous force sent her body across space before she had the time to withdraw. Immediately, a mouthful of fresh blood was spat out. Her lovely body flew backwards like a kite with a broken string. Finally, she smashed into the wall. The powerful force caused fissures to appear on the mountain wall. The little fairy doctor was forced back in defeat after merely one exchange. An expert at the peak of the Du Zong class was this powerful. Tianxi smiled slightly after having defeated the little fairy doctor with one palm. He was about to give chase when a silver-colored figure once again rushed over without fearing death. A silver glow was flickering over its fist. Faint disdain surfaced in Tianxi's eyes when he sensed the sharp wind contained on the fist of the silver-colored figure. All the puppet had was brute strength. It was still fine if it was dealing with an ordinary Du Zong. However, it was undoubtedly just a reckless act against him. Snow White, cold air swiftly gathered on Tianxi's hand. In the blink of an eye, it transformed into an ice fist that struck forward. Bang. 
The ice fist and the fist of the earth demon puppet violently collided at a speed that caused a great impact. Ice flakes immediately flew in all directions. Tianxi coldly laughed as the ice flakes shot out from the ice fist, and his arm suddenly and strangely wiggled, like a snake, before it suddenly shook. Boom. The floodwater-like force surged out while the arm was wiggling. This force contained the strength of the earth demon puppet. That strange wiggling technique seemed to have completely reflected the earth demon puppet's attack. The force spread out in a ripple form, and a half a finger deep fist mark sank into the chest of the earth demon puppet. If it did not possess any life nor feel any pain, it was likely that Yanshi's hand would have killed it. Even though this was the case, the earth demon puppet was still violently thrown down. Finally, it shattered a couple of large rocks before it was deeply imprinted in the mountain wall. You're only so-so. The snake-shaped walking stick and Tianchi's hand gently pressed against the empty air as Tianchi swiftly glanced at the defeated little fairy doctor. He faintly laughed, the current you is indeed much weaker compared to the last person in possession of the woeful poison body. Obediently return with me to the Ice River Valley and you might still have a chance to survive. Otherwise, your fate will not be better than the others. The little fairy doctor's face was ice cold. She wiped away the trace of blood on the corner of her mouth. The seal formed by her hands changed and was just about to undo the seal of the woeful poison body when a soft laugh suddenly spread from the valley. I think that there is no need to return to the Ice River Valley. This fallen god stream is not a bad burial ground. It should be quite a good place for your old bones to be buried here. Tianchi slowly withdrew the smile on his face while he stood in the air. His eyes were gloomy as they landed on the entrance of the valley. Two figures were slowly walking out. Tianchi's eyes paused on the young figure. Soon after, they turned to the old man, who was wearing a smile. After which, his gloomy face slowly stiffened. Duzun? His soft voice contained a little dullness and shock as it suddenly spread, causing the air around to quietly freeze. End of chapter. Chapter 1086. Throwing an egg against a stone. Duzun? These two simple words appeared to possess a demonic power that instantly caused the air above the land to solidify. The chilly killing aura that was formed by the many Ice River Valley's disciples completely collapsed in the face of these two words. Two figures slowly walked out of the entrance of the valley. Xiao Yan lifted the little fairy doctor up and saw the hint of blood on the corner of her mouth. The slight smile on his face involuntarily tightened. However, this smile was filled with a killing aura and a chilly feeling. Have you succeeded? The little fairy doctor looked at Tian Ho Zunji behind Xiao Yan and asked joyfully. Xiao Yan grinned slightly and nodded. He asked, are you all right? It's just some minor injuries. The little fairy doctor randomly replied. This time around, she had paid some attention and did not allow the ice zun force to invade her body. Additionally, that Yanchi wanted to capture her alive. Therefore, he had held back when he launched his palm attack. It was due to this that her injuries were not considered serious. Xiao Yan grabbed the little fairy doctor's hand. He only felt assured after probing her. Turning his head, he looked at Tianchi in the sky, whose face had suddenly turned volatile and uneasy. He smiled as he said, this elder's blows are really heavy. Tianchi's expression was dark and solemn as he glanced at Xiao Yan. After which, he let out a cold snort. His eyes slid to Tian Ho Zunji. Although he had yet to say a word, the vague pressurizing feeling that spread from his body caused Tianchi to feel as though his heart had tightened. This kind of pressure was something that he had only sensed from the Ice River Valley's valley chief and another old demon who had always surpassed him. Those two had truly stepped into the Duzun class. In other words, this plain old man was definitely a Duzun expert. The appearance of this person should be that of the spiritual body back then. At that time, he had only reached the level of an eight-star Duzong. Now, however, it seems like that was done on purpose. A thought quickly passed through Tianxi's heart in this quiet atmosphere. Due to Tian Ho Zunji's soul completely merging with this new body, even the appearance of the body had changed. It had turned into one that was similar to Tian Ho Zunji's soul. Therefore, Tianchi had managed to recognize Tian Ho Zunji as the spiritual body from just a glance. This friend, we can choose not to pursue the matter of you having killed the elder of the Ice River Valley. However, my Ice River Valley cannot let off these people. Hopefully, on account of my valley's chief face. Tianchi was worthy of being an expert renowned for a long time. Even when facing an elite Du Zun, he was still able to calm himself after losing his composure. He cuppered his hands respectfully to Tian Ho Zunji, but he was interrupted before he could say all that he wanted to say. 
I am unfamiliar with your valley chief. The old me doesn't think I need to give him any face. Tian Ho Zunji gently twisted his arm. He still felt a little unfamiliar after having merged with this body. However, this feeling of possessing a physical body was really too wonderful. He glanced at Xiao Yan beside him and smiled. After which, he raised his head and answered Tianqi with a smile. Tianqi's expression slightly sank when he heard this. With his status and strength, it had been a long time since someone dared to say such words to him. While Tianqi's expression had sunk, the three Ice River Valley's elders not far below also gradually recovered from their shock. Their gazes contained disbelief as they looked at the old man behind Xiao Yan. Du Zun? How was it possible that this group of people would possess an expert at such a level? Being expert Du Zongs, they clearly understood just how frightening a Du Zun was. They had never expected this situation, where nothing could have gone wrong, would undergo such a drastic change within an instant. Du Zun. That was an ultimate expert that even Elder Tianxi would have difficulty defeating even if he personally fought. The three Ice River Valley's elders exchanged glances with each other. Their mouths were filled with bitterness. The change of this situation was really testing one's ability to resist a blow. Earlier, they were the wolves surrounding the goats. However, in the blink of an eye, a fierce tiger appeared among these goats. The change of identities from the hunter to the hunted seemed a little too quick. The old me is aware that you are not a nice person. Similarly, the old me also belongs to the type of people who will take revenge against those who offend me. Since you have wounded someone, you will naturally have to pay the price for doing so. Tian Ho Zunji gave a faint smile, while the expressions of the people from the Ice River Valley were volatile. He turned his head to Xiao Yan and said, leave them to me. Xiao Yan slightly nodded. He lifted the little fairy doctor and slowly took two steps back before softly saying, since the Ice River Valley intends to deliver such a big gift, we should just accept it. Tian Ho Zunji smiled and nodded. His robe suddenly rose despite the absence of any wind. The surrounding air was like a wave of water as it began to swiftly fluctuate. A mighty force slowly spread out. This friend, do you really wish to become enemies with my Ice River Valley? Don't think that you can be fearless just because you are an elite Du Zun. My Ice River Valley has never been afraid of anyone. Tianqi's eyes became darker when he saw the situation. The snake-shaped walking stick in his hand struck the empty air ruthlessly as he coldly cried out. Tian Ho Zunji acted as though he did not hear this cold cry. The space around his body began to fluctuate even more intensely. Under this kind of fluctuation, the surrounding rock fragments began to tremble. They quickly split apart, transforming into countless grains of tiny sand. A denseness flashed across Tian Shi's eyes when he saw Tian Ho Zunji ignoring him. An elite Du Zun was indeed extremely strong. However, it was impossible to get him to withdraw with just this. It was not as though he had never seen an elite Du Zun. Everyone from the Ice River Valley, listen up. Form the strong dragon mysterious profound formation. Tianqi swiftly took a couple of steps back and cried out to the members of the Ice River Valley below in a stern manner. All the members of the Ice River Valley shivered when they heard Tianqi's cry. However, these people were also considered the elites in the Ice River Valley. They immediately spread apart and formed an extremely mysterious formation. Tianqi was located at the eye of the formation. Ha! Wave after wave of low cries was repeatedly being emitted from the mouths of the Ice River Valley's disciples. Immediately, clusters of white-colored cold air shot from the tops of their heads. The white-colored cold air of the three Ice River Valley's elders were the strongest. Countless blobs of strange white-colored cold air rose before agglomerating in the sky, lingering over Tianqi's body. At this moment, both of his eyes furiously opened. The seal formed by everyone's hands swiftly changed, forming numerous dazzling afterimages. Strong Dragon Mysterious Profound Formation, Blood Offering summons the Profound Dragon. Tianqi's fingernail cut the tip of his finger. Fresh blood shot out and immediately merged into the murky cold air. He widened his mouth, and an unusually mighty deep blue air shot out. Finally, it agglomerated with the many intermingling vapors. As it swiftly wiggled, a thousand-foot-large, frosty dragon slowly appeared in the sky. This icy cold, enormous dragon was really huge. The surface of its body was covered with countless numbers of blood traces. An ice-cold bloody glint flickered in the eyes of the large dragon. Its gaze stared at everyone below, looking at them as one would look at an ant. This large dragon did not merely appear powerful. There was a dragon's might seeping out of its body. 
A paleness surged on the faces of Tianxi and those people from the Ice River Valley when the ice-cold large dragon appeared. The skin of some of the disciples had even become much drier. Their hair also showed signs of a weathering yellow color. Xiao Yan frowned slightly as he looked at this icy cold dragon. The Ice River Valley really lived up to its name. They possessed such a mysterious formation. However, at a glance, it seemed the price they paid to use this kind of formation was significant. Yan Ho Zunji's body was suspended in the sky. His eyes looked at the large dragon as some surprise flashed through them. This icy cold dragon was agglomerated from the Duki and essence blood of all the people here from the Ice River Valley. Its might far exceeded that of an ordinary peak level Duzong. This friend, if you withdraw now, my Ice River Valley will still see you as a VIP. Tianxi spoke in a deep voice while his eyes stared intently at Tian Ho Zunji, whose robes were fluttering despite the absence of any wind. You are merely bluffing. Tian Ho Zunji faintly replied. You are bringing this on yourself. A cold glint flickered in Tianxi's eyes. He did not believe that this dragon, formed from everyone's Du Qi, posed no threat to this person in front of them. Go. Tianxi furiously cried out as he pointed his finger at Tian Ho Zunji. The icy cold large dragon in the sky immediately let out a roar. It widened its large mouth as a dragon aura, dozens of feet large, shot toward Tian Ho Zunji in a lightning-like fashion. Faint white-colored ice fragments appeared wherever the dragon's aura passed. Tian Ho Zunji's finger gently cut the space in front of him as he looked at the icy cold dragon aura that shot over. The air was just like thin paper as it was torn apart. A dark black spatial crack that looked just like a pocket appeared out of nowhere. The dragon's aura was sucked into it. Tian Ho Zunji rubbed the crack with his hand after the dragon's aura was absorbed into it. The spatial line strangely disappeared. He raised his head, aimed his hand at the distant dragon, and suddenly clenched it. Spatial strangling. The space of the entire place immediately began to fluctuate after Tian Ho Zunji's soft cry sounded. The space around the icy cold, large dragon swiftly became distorted. Spatial folds could even be vaguely seen. Crack. A dark black broken layer appeared after the folds revealed themselves. The large dragon's body was forcefully torn apart by the spatial distortion. After which, it was swallowed into the dark black crevice. The icy cold dragon immediately roared at the sky after its body broke. Its enormous body carried an incomparable sonic boom as it charged over toward Tian Ho Zunji. Tian Ho Zunji revealed an empty smile as he watched the icy cold large dragon charge over. His suddenly clenched his hand. Crack. 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 More space was swiftly distorted. Numerous folds continuously appeared. The location where each fold appeared was the spot where the dragon was located. It had yet to even reach a thousand feet from Tian Ho Zunji when its enormous body was shattered into pieces and swallowed into nothingness. By the time the icy cold, large dragon had charged at Tian Ho Zunji, only its enormous head remained. Tian Ho Zunji extended his hand and pressed it on the dragon's forehead. With a flick of his finger, that ice dragon was shattered into ice fragments that permeated the sky. Throwing an egg against a stone, utterly weak. The faces of Tianxi and the others immediately turned red the moment the ice dragon was shattered. They spat out mouthfuls of fresh blood at the same time. An elite Du Zun was this terrifying. End of chapter. Chapter 1087. Sun Flame. Grug. Fresh blood was spat out as Tianxi's body fell from the sky. His feet staggered over a dozen steps on the ground before he gradually steadied himself. A pale whiteness surged onto his shriveled face. Bang. Bang. All the elite Ice River Valley's disciples also flew backwards, appearing to suffer from a heavy blow, while Tianxi was forced back. After which, they collapsed onto the ground one after another. No one knew if they were dead or alive. Only the three white-cloaked elders present were able to barely stabilize their bodies. However, their faces were currently covered in shock. None of them had expected the great formation, formed from all of their strengths, would be unable to last for even one exchange in the hands of this person in front of them. An elite Du Zun was indeed not someone they could defeat by just relying on numbers. This person's control of spatial strength has reached an incredible level. He doesn't appear like someone who has just advanced to the Du Zun class. Some shock swiftly surged into Tianxi's eyes as he stabilized his body. His swiftly scanned over the Ice River Valley's disciples who had been shaken until they were unconscious. His eyes flickered. My Ice River Valley has miscalculated this matter today. 
With this person protecting the woeful poison lady, it is impossible for the old me to capture them alone. I can only head back and inform the valley chief about this matter. Tianchi was indeed an old crafty fellow. After this exchange, he knew this mission would not progress any further this time around. Therefore, he decisively clenched his teeth and a mighty cold air gathered on his palm. After which, his fist smashed onto the empty space behind him. This empty space immediately became distorted when his fist was thrown at it. A dark black spatial tunnel appeared behind him. Bing Xiao, leave with me. The dark black spatial tunnel had just appeared when Yanshi's hand grabbed toward the three white clothed elders. A suction force surged out and sucked all three of them to his side without any resistance. His body moved and entered the spatial tunnel. Don't let him escape. Xiao Yan hurriedly cried out when the dark black tunnel appeared. There was naturally no need for Xiao Yan to open his mouth to remind Tian Ho Zunji when it came to something like this. Tian Ho Zunji swiftly reacted to the situation. His palm aimed at the black spatial tunnel from a distance before he ruthlessly clenched it. An invisible ripple spread, and one could see the spatial tunnel begin to swiftly collapse. The expression of Tianchi suddenly changed when the spatial tunnel collapsed. The cold glint immediately flickered in his eyes. His palm slammed onto the back of a white-clothed elder, and a frightening cold air surged out, sending this elder flying in the process. Bang! That white-clothed elder had just been sent flying when the hidden force, placed in his body by Tianchi, suddenly exploded. His body was immediately covered by an icy coldness. After which, it exploded with a bang. Ice shattered into little bits that shot in all directions as a shocking air wave spread out in a lightning-like fashion. In the face of this wave from the explosion of a body, the invisible strength that spread from the hands of Tian Ho Zunji was impeded. After which, it was momentarily blocked. Tian Ho Zunji eyebrows were knit when the white-clothed elder's body exploded. This old fellow was really ruthless. He decisively attacked his companions beside him. With a wave of Tian Ho Zunji's sleeves, the spatial ripple spread again and resisted the air wave that was created from the explosion of the white-clothed elder's body after which, it swiftly spread toward Tianchi. Tianchi's expression changed when he saw that the explosion of an expert Du Zong did not obtain much effect. Immediately, a fierce glint quickly flashed through his eyes. The other two white-clothed elders felt a chill rise in their hearts when they saw the fierce glint in Tianchi's eyes. The both of them acted in union without prior agreement as they attempted to move their bodies and flee. However, this thought had just appeared when Tianchi let out a cold smile. His palm was imprinted on the backs of these two people with lightning-like speed. A wild and violent force shot out of them. Bang. Bang. The two elders did not have the time to put up any defenses. That frightening cold air surged into the bodies of these two elders, and the circulating dew key in their bodies immediately stilled. After which, they began to swell. Bang. Bang. Another two loud noises appeared. An even more powerful cold wave surged and spread in a lightning-like fashion. Some of the large rocks on the ground were covered by the tough ice almost immediately because of this icy cold wave. The Ice River Valley's disciples on the ground were quickly transformed into many lifelike ice sculptures. The life within their bodies was completely frozen at this instant. The two large, ice-cold waves that had erupted shook the invisible interfering force of Tianho Zunji until it collapsed. The spatial tunnel rotated and a pale-faced Tianchi swiftly entered it. Finally, he disappeared. It's a small world and we will meet again. The matter today is definitely not over. All of you should wait to be killed by my Ice River Valley. While Tianchi's figure was disappearing, a vicious dense voice was slowly being transmitted from the spot where the spatial tunnel disappeared. After which, it reverberated over this valley's entrance. Tianho Zunji slightly knit his brows when he saw that Tianchi had successfully fled. He had not expected this person to be able to part space and flee, despite not having reached the Duzun class. Moreover, he had underestimated the heartlessness of that fellow as well. He had willingly sacrificed three Duzong elders in order to flee. He escaped? The little fairy doctor's eyebrows were vertical as she softly exclaimed. Xiao Yan gently nodded. He felt a little regretful. Finally, he glanced at Tian Ho Zunji in the air and said, Old Mr. Yao has just obtained a body. Although your spiritual strength has been greatly strengthened in an instant, the Du Qi within your physical body cannot be completely recovered within this short amount of time. You have completely relied on your spiritual strength in the fight earlier. Otherwise, it is likely that Yanxi would not have fled. Tianho Zunji in the air moved and appeared beside Xiao Yan. 
He helplessly shook his head at Xiao Yan as he said, I could have destroyed the spatial tunnel. However, that old fellow is really too ruthless. He threw three Duzong experts like bombs. Xiao Yan smiled and nodded. He said, it is fine as long as we can scare those old fellows off. We are currently unable to fight head-on against the Ice River Valley. We need to find an even more secretive spot and help settle the issue of the little fairy doctor's woeful poison body. Once she is able to fully control the woeful poison body, the Ice River Valley will have to really think twice, even if they wish to touch us. Two Duzuns can be considered an extremely powerful force even in the Central Plains region. Tian Ho Zunji slightly nodded. Although he currently possessed a body, he did not truly possess the strength of a Duzun yet. He needed to wait until he had familiarized himself with this body in order to be called a true Duzun. We will let you decide where we should go. You can be considered to have given the old me a second chance to live. The old me will return you this favor. Tian Ho Zunji fondled his beard as he spoke with a smile to Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan smiled. He mused for a moment before replying, since Tianxi has already fled, it is likely that the Ice River Valley will learn about us soon. Therefore, it is likely that we can no longer remain here. Moreover, the Fallen God Valley is not a suitable place if we wish to help the little fairy doctor resolve the issue of her woeful poison body. The poison vapor in this place is too dense. If the woeful poison body retaliates, we will end up with a trouble that we cannot predict. Hence, we must find a place that is filled with light and heat. That kind of place will be able to suppress the woeful poison body, and it will raise the chance of success by 10%. Filled with light and heat? Tian Ho Zunji and the little fairy doctor pondered the options. It was not easy to find such a place within the pill region. I do know of a place that is filled with light and heat. A voice suddenly sounded while Xiao Yan and the two others were deep in thought. The three of them followed the voice and looked over. Coincidentally, they saw the smiling Xin Lan walking out of the valley. Where? Xiao Yan rejoiced when he heard her words, and he hurriedly asked. Yi City. My Yi clan has a unique place that is called Sunfire Ancient Altar. The sunlight from the sky during the daytime will gather at that spot. There is a hole in the ancient altar that reaches deep underground. Occasionally, some core fire seedlings will drift out of the hole. When this core fire seedling makes contact with sunlight, it will transform into a kind of flame. My Yi clan calls it Sun Flame. Xin Lan softly explained. This kind of sun flame might not be a heavenly flame, but it is far stronger than an ordinary beast flame. Some of my Yi clan's ancestors would frequently borrow this kind of sun flame and increase the success of their pill refinement. Unfortunately, this sun flame cannot exist for too long. It will automatically scatter. Xin Lan's voice was a little regretful when she spoke until this point. Even though it didn't last long, the sun flame was still quite tempting. There was an unknown number of factions who coveted this Yi city. They were all after the Sunfire Ancient Altar. Sun Flame? Xiao Yan muttered this name in his mouth. This world was indeed filled with mysteries. The Sun Flame's formation was similar to that of a Heavenly Flame's birth. No wonder it was hidden as a treasure by the Yi clan. Based on what you say, the Sunfire Ancient Altar should be forbidden ground of your Yi clan. They will actually loan it out? Xiao Yan knit his brows and questioned after pondering the proposition. He had met those people from the Yi clan before, and he did not have a good impression of them. Xin Lan also appeared to be aware that Xiao Yan did not have a good impression of them. She let out a bitter laugh before gritting her silver teeth and saying, they offended big brother Xiao Yan last time because they were unaware of your identity. If you go there again, Xin Lan guarantees that they will not offend you. The current Yi clan was in a gradual decline. Only her grandfather was a tier 7 alchemist. This kind of strength was not enough to allow the Yi clan to continue being one of the five great clans. If they did not seek outside help, it was likely that they would be swallowed and taken over by other factions. Moreover, from the way Xin Lan saw it, who was more suitable to provide this outside help other than Xiao Yan? He had already reached the seventh tier at such a young age. Such achievement was not the least bit inferior even when compared with the so-called genius seen once in a hundred years from the Cao clan. Xiao Yan hesitated for a moment after hearing Xin Lan's words. He then gently nodded and replied, hopefully it will be just as you have said. If I can resolve the little fairy doctor's woeful poison body issue, I will do my best to help with the problem of your Yi clan on your account. Joy surfaced on Xin Lan's face when she heard this. By saying this, Xiao Yan was clearly giving the Yi clan another chance. 
Big Brother Xiaoyan, you can rest assured about this matter. Xin Lan heavily nodded her head. She had already made up her mind. No matter what happened this time around, she would definitely make those pedantic fellows from the clan truly view Xiao Yan as the savior of the Yi clan. End of chapter. Chapter 1088. Blackfire Sect. In that case, let's make a trip to Yi City. It is best that we resolve the issue of the woeful poison body as soon as possible. If none of you have any objections, we will head out now. What do you say? Xiao Yan was unable to say anything more after hearing Xin Lan plea. He nodded and made his decision. After which, he turned his head to Tian Ho Zunji and the little fairy doctor and asked them what they thought. The little fairy doctor naturally had no objections to this. After some deep thinking, Tian Ho Zunji also nodded. He said, after advancing to a Du Zun, I am already able to continuously absorb the natural energy and turn it into Du Qi in my body. I can also train while traveling. It is not a problem to start moving now. Xiao Yan smiled when he saw they were both in agreement. He immediately walked out of the Fallen God Valley. Tian Ho Zunji and the others quickly followed from behind. After two days of traveling, Xiao Yan's group gradually approached the exit of the Fallen God stream. The human traffic gradually increased. For safety's sake, Xiao Yan's group put on daopings to hide their appearance. From what Xin Lan had said, the Ice River Valley had issued a wanted order for all of them. Although they might not be afraid, it would still be a little troublesome if they were exposed. Currently, Xiao Yan was thinking of resolving the little fairy doctor's woeful poison body issue. It was naturally best if these problems did not appear. The entrance of the fallen god stream was still filled with the sea humans. It was not reduced because of the flow of time. It seemed that there was still a countless number of people attracted by the sky-high reward that the Ice River Valley offered. However, the current fallen god stream no longer had a single Ice River Valley personal standing guard. Perhaps this was because of Tianxi's group being completely defeated. Hence, Xiao Yan's group did not meet with even the slightest obstacle, and they successfully walked out of the fallen god stream. After which, they found a deserted area and hurried to Yi City from there. The fallen god stream was not far from Yi City. With the speed of Xiao Yan's group, they reached this lush green city, situated on some plains, within half a day. The few of them landed in the city, but did not stay for long. With Xin Lan leading them, they hurried to the Yi clan manor in the middle of the city. Around ten minutes later, Xiao Yan's group arrived at the front door of the Yi clan. At this moment, the main door of the Yi clan was opened. The thing that surprised Xiao Yan's group was that there was not a single guard at the entrance. Moreover, the thick doors showed signs of being broken. Xin Lan's expression involuntarily changed when she saw the damaged door. After which, she increased her speed and charged in. Xiao Yan spread his hands behind him. This scene clearly represented that something bad had happened. It was unexpected that the Yi clan had fallen into such a state. Currently, Xiao Yan was not wearing a daoping. However, he had once again put on the skin-like object that could change his appearance, causing him to appear slightly different. Xiao Yan led the little fairy doctor and Yan Ho Zunji as they slowly walked into the Yi clan. After which, they followed a small rock path and headed toward the interior. This walk continued for a couple of minutes before a large hall appeared in front of the three of them. Some furious cries were vaguely being transmitted from within. Indeed. A clan that has been inherited over generations has declined until such an extent. Now, others barge into their manner and act as they pleased. Would the ancestors of the Yi clan leap out of their graves if they become aware of this? Xiao Yan involuntarily shook his head when he heard the furious cry that was emitted from within the hall. He felt somewhat sad for this Yi clan. A great clan that had once been extremely prominent had actually been turned into such a state. It really gave one the feeling that people change. Xin Lan was currently standing outside of the door. Her pretty face was green with fury as she looked into the hall. Her lovely figure trembled slightly due to her fury. Xiao Yan led the little fairy doctor and Tian Ho Zunji up to Xin Lan. He leaned against the door and looked at the interior of the hall. At this moment, the large hall was a complete mess. All the members of the Yi clan Xiao Yan had met back then were there. However, these people's faces were filled with an angry green color at this moment. There was a green-clothed person wailing and rolling all over the ground in front of them. One could tell that he was a member of the Yi clan from his clothes. The other side of the members of the Yi clan was a group of people in black clothes. The aura of this group of people was quite strong. Clearly, they were not weaklings. 
Moreover, Xiao Yan was surprised to find that the two shady-faced black-robed elders leading them had reached the strength of six star Du Zongs. Moreover, from the majestic Du Qi undulating around them, it was likely that these two people were at the peak of the six star Du Zong class. They were a little stronger when compared to the first elder of the Yi clan, who was Xin Lan's grandfather. Who are they? Xiao Yan randomly asked. They are people from the Black Fire sect and could be considered a strong faction within this pill region. Their sect is located quite close to Yi City and has been coveting after the Yi City for some time. It is unexpected that they dared to barge in. Xin Lan tightly clenched her fist. Her low voice contained a fury that she could not suppress. The two old fellows at the front are the Black Demon Twin Evil. They are extremely strong and have quite a fierce reputation. Even Grandfather is not match for either one of them. Xiao Yan slightly nodded. This was the first time he had heard of the Black Fire sect. However, the strength of these two old fellows was indeed great. The peak of a six-star Du Zong. They were a little stronger than Bing Fu from the Ice River Valley. This central plains was indeed filled with experts. If an expert of such a level was placed in the Black Corner region, he would, at the very least, be an overlord. Zhao Hei, Qin Mo, your Black Fire sect should not be overboard. My Yi clan might no longer have the glory of its past, but if we were to really fight with your black fire sect, it will not benefit you in any way. The green-clothed old man in the large hall was furious as he angrily shouted. He he, Yi Zhong, you need to bluff in the front of the two of us. Your current Yi clan no longer possess the qualification to continue being called one of the five great clans of the Pill region. One of the leading black-clothed elders faintly laughed when he heard this before ridiculing Yi Zhong. This time around, the two of us have come to incorporate your Yi clan under us by the orders of the sect leader. If you surrender, our Black Fire sect will not treat all of you shabbily. You will still have a place to survive in this Yi clan. If you do not obey, he he, you should all be aware of the tactics of my Black Fire sect. The other shady faced elder laughed and spoke with a hoarse voice. And your dreams? The faces of all the members from the Yi clan were filled with anger when these words were spoken. Yi Zhong widened his eyes and furiously cried out. Boom boom. Yi Zhong's cry had just sounded when numerous black shadows suddenly rushed out of the hands of the two black clothed elders. After which, they landed in the large hall while emitting boom boom sounds. Everyone's expression instantly became furiously green when they saw this because the black shadows were dark black coffins. Please accept these coffins if you do not wish to obey. The shady looking black clothed old man smiled densely toward Yi Zhong. A cold, majestic aura slowly spread out of his body. After which, a roar sounded within this large hall, causing some of the weaker Yi clan's members to turn a little pale. Xiao Yan continued to remain by the door. He narrowed his eyes and watched the show that was playing out within the hall. This black fire sect really did not show any mercy when they act. He counted the number of coffins and found that there was one more than the number of Yi clan members currently in the hall. That extra coffin was perhaps prepared for Xin Lan. It was just that these people were unaware that Xin Lan had been following beside Xiao Yan during these few days. Xin Lan by the side tightly clenched her hand. Her lovely body trembled due to her fury. A moment later, her expression suddenly dimmed. She was unable to do anything with her current strength. Big brother Xiao Yan. Please help the Yi clan, will you? Xin Lan is willing to do anything as long as the clan is well. Xiao Yan, who had tilted his head, was suddenly startled. He turned his head and looked at the blue-clothed girl, who had lowered her head. Her eyes were red as she bit her lower red lip. Xiao Yan softly sighed when he saw her. Relax, it is not as though this is the first day that you have been acquainted with him. Don't you know what his character is like? The little fairy doctor involuntarily shook her head with pity, and she softly comforted with a smile after seeing Xin Lan's appearance. Since I have already given you my word, I will naturally help you. At this moment, Yi Zhong in the large hall was greatly shaken by this ruthless act of the Black Fire sect. He looked at those coffins with a cold luster in his eyes as a desolate feeling surged onto his face. Had the once prominent Yi clan reached such a stage in his hands? Hand over Yi city and the Sunfire ancient altar of the Yi clan. My Black Fire sect does not wish to do something so ruthless. I shall give you five minutes to think it over. The lives of all the young and old in the Yi clan will be determined by your decision. The black-clothed old man smiled in a sinister manner while he slowly threatened Yi Zhong. Yi Zhong's face slightly twitched upon hearing this. His entire body trembled. 
With the current strength of the Black Fire sect, it was very difficult for the Yi clan to continue fighting with them. The atmosphere within the large hall had become extremely pressurizing because of Yi Zhong's silence. These five minutes swiftly passed by in silence. The dense smile of the two black-clothed old men slowly whitened when the five minutes was up. Surging energy gradually gathered in their palms. Yi Zhong, you are the one who seeks such an ending. Do not blame the two of us. Ugh. A soft sigh finally sounded from outside of the door, just as killing intent surged out of these two black-clothed old men. The two of them were startled, and they suddenly turned around, only to see a young man leaning against the door. Their eyes turned cold and a curse was spat from their mouths. Get lost. The young man ignored them. He moved his feet and slowly walked into the large hall. A calm, soft voice slowly sounded like a wave of water. One minute. Bring the coffins with you and get out of Yi City. Otherwise, you can remain here. End of chapter. Chapter 1089. Sunfire Ancient Altar. The young man's calm voice was just like flowing water as it crossed the large hall. This caused everyone to be stunned. Such a tone was really filled with extraordinary arrogance. The black-clothed elders who were called Zhao Hei and Qin Mo were startled when they heard his voice. Their expressions immediately turned sinister. Both pairs of eyes looked at the young man, who was slowly walking in, like fierce wolves. A moment later, they ferociously smiled, a mere two-star Du Zong dares to act so presumptuously in front of the two of us old fellows. There is still forty seconds. The young man appeared to have not heard the ferocious laughs of the two of them. A somewhat lazy voice was emitted from his mouth. Kill him. Zhao Hei's expression was dark and chilly as he slowly commanded. A fierce expression instantly flew into the eyes of the many people from the Black Fire sect the moment they heard this order. Powerful Du Qi surged out of their bodies. After which, they unleashed their Du Qi together without any prior agreement and rushed toward the young man, who was slowly walking over. A jade green flame surged out of Xiao Yan's body and transformed into a fire barrier. Those fierce attacks automatically disappeared when they made contact with the fire barrier. They did not even cause Xiao Yan's footsteps to pause for even a moment. Zhao Hei and Qin Mo were initially startled when they saw the jade green flame that surged out of Xiao Yan's body. They suddenly cried out involuntarily, Heavenly Flame? A wild joy and greed suddenly rose into the eyes of the two of them after their involuntary cry. The Black Fire sect was renowned for its fire affinity. They naturally had a great understanding of heavenly flames, which were the strongest of all flames. Brat, you possess such a unique item. However, since you have delivered yourself to us, the two of us shall kindly accept. Zhao Hei smiled. He exchanged expressions with Qin Mo. After which, their feet abruptly stomped on the ground. The two of them attacked at the same time and rushed toward Xiao Yan. Ugh. Time's up. Xiao Yan let out a soft sigh and shook his head slightly when the two of them attacked. The space around Xiao Yan was slowly distorted, while his soft sigh slowly sounded. Immediately, an old figure strangely appeared. His sleeves were randomly swung toward the two who had shot over explosively. Immediately, the empty space appeared to be violently blended by an invisible hand, revealing numerous spatial folds. A majestic and frightening strength cut through the space quietly like floodwater as the sleeves was swung. After which, it gently collided with Zhao Hei's and Qin Mo's chest, without forming even the slightest ripple. Grug. The bodies of Zhao Hei and Qin Mo suddenly stilled as the wind blew over. The ferociousness on their faces instantly transformed into shock. Before this shock could completely disappear, two bright red mouthfuls of fresh blood along with some shattered inner organs were spat out from their mouths. Bang! After the fresh blood was spat out, the two figures flew back like kites with broken strings. They subsequently smashed against the ground, rolled miserably for over ten times, before violently colliding into a wall. The vague yet clear sound of bones being crushed rang out. The entire hall was silent. All the gazes were looking at the old figure beside Xiao Yan with dull expressions. With just a random wave, two experts at the peak of the six star Du Zong class were defeated so miserably without any ability to defend themselves. Du. Du Zun. Yi Zhong was stunned as he looked at this old figure. Although not the least bit of aura seeped out of his body, he could still sense a dangerous feeling. He had experienced such a dangerous feeling before. However, all of those who gave him such a feeling were powerful existences who had stepped into the Duzun class. Since when did my Yi clan have an interaction with such an expert? This thought flashed through Yi Zhong's heart. Ever since their Yi clan began to decline, they hardly possessed any ability to interest an elite Duzun. 
otherwise, this black fire sect would not dare to find trouble with them. While Yi Zhong was feeling doubt in his heart, his eyes suddenly landed on Xin Lan outside of the large hall. He was immediately startled. He seemed to have recalled something. His eyes were suddenly turned to Xiao Yan. Although his appearance had changed a little, Yi Zhong could still see a little familiarity in his outline. He is Xiao Yan from back then? This thought flashed through his heart. Even Yi Zhong could not help but inhale a breath of cool air. The last time they met, this person only had a powerful puppet beside him, yet why was there another mysterious elite Du Zun beside him after only a short one-month period or so? This person definitely possesses a great background. Otherwise, how is it possible for him to get an elite Du Zun to follow beside him? My Yi clan was blind in old age. We nearly offended this great being. Xiao Yan was naturally unaware of the churning thoughts within Yi Zhong's heart. He glanced at the fresh blood on the corner of the wall, as well as the shocked Zhao He and Kin Mo. After which, he involuntarily let out a cold laugh. The strike from Tian Ho Zunji earlier had caused these two a serious injury at the very least. Even if they managed to recover, it was likely that a sequely would be left behind. The senior, the two of us are elders from the Black Fire sect. We are blind to have offended you today. Please forgive the both of us. Zhao He and Kin Mo climbed up from the ground in a miserable manner. Their hearts were so shaken that they did not possess the slightest anger. Being those involved, they had a clear understanding of how terrifying the attack earlier was. By being able to defeat the two of them so easily, the other party was definitely an expert of the Du Zun class. Such an existence was not someone their black fire sect could offend. Damn it, how is it possible for the Yi clan to be acquainted with an elite Du Zun? We have miscalculated this time around. Once we return, we must definitely inform sect leader about this. It is best that we stop having any ill thoughts toward the Yi clan in the future. A camel that dies from being too skinny is still bigger than a horse. The mouths of the two of them were filled with bitterness. They forcefully endured the waves of intense pain that was emitted from their bodies as they rubbed off the fresh blood on their faces. However, they no longer possessed even the least bit of prestige that they had displayed earlier. In front of an elite Du Zun, their lives were just like ants that were not even worth mentioning. This point was something that the both of them were clearly aware of. Get lost. If you return again, I will head to your black fire sect and accompany all of you with a little chat. Xiao Yan indifferently glanced at these two people, who were scared witless, as he coldly spoke. Zhao He and Kin Mo coldly shivered when they heard his words. However, they did not dare say anything else. Both of them supported each other and fled to the door. Take your stuff with you. Xiao Yan's cold cry quickly followed after these two had just exited through the door. The both of them hurriedly turned around and submissively returned all the coffins in the hall to their storage rings. Only then did they lead their men and miserably fled without daring to utter a word. All of this occurred in front of the stunned gazes of the members of the Yi clan. The members of the Yi clan in the large hall only recovered a while after watching the people from the Black Fire sect flee in a miserable manner. Some respect surged in their eyes when they looked at Xiao Yan and Yan Ho Zunji beside him. Grandfather, are you all right? Xin Lan's figure hurriedly ran into the hall and inquired with a worrying voice while facing Yi Zhong. Yi Zhong shook his head. His eyes immediately landed on Xiao Yan as he softly sighed. He bowed his body and cupped his hands together in a grave manner. Mr. Xiao Yan, thank you for rescuing us. Please do not take the disrespect of the Yi clan back then to heart. Xiao Yan? Some of the members of the Yi clan were startled when they heard Yi Zhong's words, especially the few Yi clan's elders who had exchanged blows with Xiao Yan back then. Their eyes were astonished when they looked at Xiao Yan. An ashamed expression soon followed. Xiao Yan randomly waved his hand. He was too lazy to say any courteous words. Instead, he stated his intent, this time around, I have come to the Yi clan with the intention of borrowing the Sunfire Ancient Altar. May I know if Elder Yi Zhong will lend it to me? Yi Zhong's eyes glanced at Xin Lan beside him after hearing this. She hurriedly nodded to him. He could only bitterly laugh as he said, Mr. Xiao Yan has rescued my Yi clan today. Although the Sunfire Ancient Altar cannot be loaned to an outsider based on the rules of the clan, the Yi clan has already fallen to such a state. It is likely seeking its own death if it still insists on its old ways. Xiao Yan only gently nodded his head after hearing that Yi Zhong did not say anything to evade the issue. Yi Zhong instructed the clan members to clean up the large hall before personally leading Xiao Yan's group to the deeper parts of the Yi clan manor. Around 10 minutes later, an extremely deserted rocky open ground appeared in front of them. 
In the middle of the open ground was a somewhat ancient altar. The enormous rocks that were used to build the altar were filled with the traces of time. Clearly, this altar had existed for a long time. Xiao Yan approached the altar and discovered that it was exceptionally bright. Moreover, the closer he got to the altar, the hotter and purer the surrounding energy was. Numerous substance-like light rays scattered down from the sky. After being reflected by the smooth rock walls, they ended up gathering on a dark black stone tablet. There is a hole that connects deep underground under the stone tablet. Some core heart fire seedlings will escape when the stone tablet is shifted away. It will subsequently light up the sunlight gathered here and form the sun flame of course, this was the case in the past. Yi Zhong softly sighed and bitterly laughed as he stared at the ancient altar. What happened? Xiao Yan slightly frowned when he heard his words. Since a couple of years ago, seldom do core heart fire seedlings come out of the hole. It is not possible to excite the sunlight and form the sun flame. Yi Zhong sighed. Xiao Yan slightly nodded. He did not need to rely on whatever sun flame for his purpose. All he wanted to do was borrow the pure, natural energy of this place to suppress the little fairy doctor's woeful poison body. Little fairy doctor, enter the altar. Xiao Yan turned his head and instructed to the little fairy doctor. The little fairy doctor nodded when she heard this. Her toes pressed on the ground, and her body gently landed inside the altar. The dense heat and light energy around caused her eyebrows to turn vertical as she felt some discomfort. Xiao Yan hesitated for a moment after seeing the little fairy doctor enter the altar. He once again summoned the earth demon puppet. After which, he finally relaxed and walked into the altar. Old Mr. Yao, please stand guard for us. Do not allow anyone to interrupt. Tian Ho Zunji smiled as he nodded. His body moved and appeared on a huge tree by the edge of the open ground. Finally, he sat on it. You can rest assured that unless an elite Du Zun comes to this place personally, no one will be able to interrupt you. Yi Zhong also wisely withdrew far away when he saw this. Xiao Yan slightly nodded. His eyes swept around him. There were many rock walls around this altar. If one did not approach it, it would be difficult to see what was happening within from the outside. Therefore, it could be considered a hidden place. Xiao Yan withdrew his gaze. He looked at the little fairy doctor in front of him, who appeared a little uneasy. With a soft laugh, he said, in that case. I should also begin. End of chapter. Chapter 1090. Poison Dan Method, Begin. The little fairy doctor nodded when she heard him. She inhaled a deep breath of air and suppressed the anxiety in her heart. After which, she sat cross-legged on the altar. She straightened her upper body. Her long neck and narrow waist formed an alluring curve. Xiao Yan also sat down. He raised his head and looked at the countless lights that shot down from the sky. His hand gently caressed the empty air. Immediately, a warm feeling was emitted from his palm. He sensed a kind of pure light and heat in the sunlight. Not bad. Xiao Yan slightly praised. This was indeed a good place. Even if he did not do anything, this place would cause the little fairy doctor's woeful poison body to be naturally suppressed. Thus, they would be able to avoid the situation of having the woeful poison body erupt midway through, causing some unnecessary trouble. Xiao Yan's eyes slightly shifted. After which, they paused on the dark black stone tablet set in the altar. Yi Zhong had already mentioned that this stone tablet was the key to activating this altar. Xiao Yan's hands gently pushed the dark black stone tablet. A hot feeling surged from within. However, it did not cause Xiao Yan the slightest discomfort. He used a little strength and pushed the stone tablet aside amid a cracking sound. The stone tablet was slowly pushed aside, and a head-sized dark black hole appeared in Xiao Yan's sight. It was likely that this was the hole that Yi Zhong had mentioned. Creak creak. When the stone tablet was pushed aside, it seemed to have activated something. The stone walls around the altar slowly moved. Immediately, they formed a round stone wall, surrounding Xiao Yan and the little fairy doctor in an extremely tight manner. If one were to look from the outside, one could only see the towering, ancient stone walls. Following the formation of the circular shape of the stone walls, the stone walls seemed to have gradually become smooth. An increasing amount of light rays were reflected by the mirror-like stone walls. Finally, they gathered at this hole in the ground. The bright, dazzling light was extremely glaring. Although the sunlight had gathered, not the slightest bit of fire seedlings were emitted from the hole in the ground. Hence, the so-called sun flame did not appear. Fortunately, the light and hot energy of this altar were becoming more intense with the gathering of the sunlight. In the end, the little fairy doctor's eyebrows were slightly vertical. 
This sunlight left a searing feeling when it landed on her body. Sizzle sizzle. Wave after wave of grayish-purple poison fog gradually surged out of the little fairy doctor beyond her control. After which, they collided with the hot sunlight in the outside world and emitted a sizzling sound. There is no need to panic. Xiaoyan comforted her and smiled as he looked at the little fairy doctor, who had her hands clenched. He waved his hand and a crystal that was filled with a wild and violent energy appeared in front of him. It was the monster core of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast. Xiaoyan flipped his hand after taking out the monster core. A jade box appeared in it. The jade box was snow white in color. There was a faint cold air seeping out of it. A jade green color as well as a sticky substance that was still wiggling appeared in Xiaoyan's eyes. The Bodhisattva Body Transformation Saliva. Xiaoyan had spent a great amount of effort in order to obtain this unique treasure. It was one of the key ingredients for the so-called Poison Dan method. It is rumored that this Bodhisattva body transformation saliva can sense the Bodhisattva heart. However, ever since I got a hold of it, this thing has not given me the slightest clue. Xiaoyan looked at the Bodhisattva body transformation saliva in the jade box and helplessly shook his head. After which, his eyes landed on the little fairy doctor in front of him as he continued with a solemn voice, I will use three types of heavenly flame to force the poison key within your body to a certain spot. The process will be very painful. You must endure it. If we cannot even progress past this step, the remaining steps cannot begin. The little fairy doctor clenched her silver teeth as she looked at Xiao Yan's grave expression. She gently nodded. She knew that Xiao Yan had spent a couple years of effort in order to help her resolve this woeful poison body. Now that they had everything ready, she would definitely endure regardless of how painful it would be. Otherwise, how could she be worthy of the effort that this person in front of her had put in over the years? I will need to undo the seal within your body and completely unleash the woeful poison body. Xiao Yan inhaled a deep breath. His hand involuntarily trembled a little. Should he fail to suppress the woeful poison body, it was likely that the little fairy doctor would die on the spot. I trust you. The little fairy doctor appeared to be aware of the worry in Xiao Yan's heart after seeing his somewhat trembling hands. An alluring smile surfaced on her pretty face as she softly uttered encouraging words. Xiao Yan slowly tightened his hand. His voice was deep, I have already prepared for today for many years, and I will definitely not make a mistake. Remove your clothes. I will begin undoing the seal. Xiao Yan's expression was serious. His mind was the most focused it had ever been as he commanded in a deep voice. The little fairy doctor was startled when she heard his command. A redness swiftly flew onto her pretty face. However, when she saw Xiao Yan's expression, which was so solemn to the point it did not possess any other emotion, she gently clenched her silver teeth. In any case, this fellow had already seen her many times. She did not mind allowing him to see her another time. The little fairy doctor gently removed her clothes while possessing this thought that caused her face to redden. After which, her dress fell past her lovely, white, smooth skin. A suet jade-like perfect figure was exposed under this hot sunlight. Regardless of how sturdy Xiao Yan's heart was, his eyes involuntarily flickered for a moment when he saw the perfect body of the woman in front of his eyes being exposed. However, he swiftly focused his mind. His eyes gathered on the little fairy doctor's body. Her suet jade-like body possessed numerous faint red scars. These scars were composed of a countless number of symbols that climbed all over the little fairy doctor's body, forming a perfect seal in the process. Xiao Yan curled his fingers. A jade green flame formed over his fingertip. His eyes focused as his hand swung at a lightning like speed. After which, it heavily pressed on the little fairy doctor's smooth abdomen. A sizzling white smoke was emitted. The faint red scar that spread all over her body slowly began to wiggle under his finger. The scar swiftly paled. Wave after wave of frightening deep grayish poison fog erupted from the little fairy doctor's body after the symbol swiftly paled. Her grayish purple eyes gradually turned pure gray. This kind of grayish color contained the scent of death. It was without even the slightest bit of life. At a glance, one would feel a fluttering feeling that seemed to have spread from deep within their soul. When the woeful poison body completely erupted, this kind of grayish color would swiftly devour all of the life force belonging to its owner. The bright redness on the little fairy doctor's face swiftly vanished following the spread of this grayish colored poison fog. Her originally gentle face slowly became expressionless. However, the pain and struggle that faintly seeped from between her eyebrows indicated that she was resisting the backlash of the woeful poison body. 
they were both pressed for time. A thought passed through Xiao Yan's mind as a jade green flame was spat out of his mouth. The dark black ring on his finger gradually trembled. A dense white colored flame slowly curled and rose. Xiao Yan grabbed this cluster of dense white flames. He stuffed it into his jade green flame. The three types of flames underwent a drastic change the moment they made contact. However, Xiao Yan had already mastered this kind of change. He spent a short moment before he completely merged the three types of flames. The final creation from the merger of the three types of heavenly flames was a pure green-white flame. It slowly rose while waves of destructive strength slowly spread from it. Xiao Yan hesitated for a moment after the successful merger of the three types of heavenly flames. He glanced at the gray poison fog that was surging out of the little fairy doctor's body in front of him. He then inhaled a deep breath of air. He waved his hand, and the green-white flame surged out. It expanded and bundled around the little fairy doctor's body. Sizzle 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 sizzle. The flame had just covered the little fairy doctor when the dense gray-colored poison gas around her body emitted an intense sizzling sound, as though it had met its nemesis. After which, it withdrew with lightning-like speed, fleeing back into the little fairy doctor's body. Chi. The little fairy doctor's grayish-purple eyes immediately turned a pure gray color when the poison gas entered her body. A deadly aura radiated out of her. The little fairy doctor's body moved and charged out of this altar. However, Xiao Yan was already prepared for this. The little fairy doctor's body had just moved when he suddenly stood up. His hand was covered in the green-white flame as it pressed onto the little fairy doctor's shoulder, violently holding her down in the process. Gather. The seal formed by Xiao Yan's hand changed as he furiously cried out. The green-white flame transformed into countless numbers of tiny fire seedlings after the cry sounded. They penetrated the little fairy doctor's skin and entered her body. Finally, they wildly chased after the gray-colored poison gas. The green-white fire seedlings from all directions covered every corner of the little fairy doctor's body. Fortunately, Xiao Yan's current strength was much stronger than before. Otherwise, it was likely that he would have found it difficult to control so many fire seedlings. The permeating gray poison gas began to swiftly scatter after being chased by the fire seedlings. Moreover, under the control of Xiao Yan's mind, all of the poison gas gathered in the little fairy doctor's lower abdomen. Hiss 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 hiss. Slight sounds were continuously emitted from the little fairy doctor's body. Wave after wave of gray-colored poison gas hurriedly fled from the combined might of the three heavenly flames. Finally, the gas was chased to her lower abdomen. All the green-white flames gathered at this spot. They transformed into a fire circle that trapped the poison gas within. The vast mighty poison gas that was filled with a deadly aura gathered in the little fairy doctor's lower abdomen. At a glance, it looked like a swirl. The interior of the swirl was a deadly world. Even an elite Du Zun would not dare to easily face such a frightening poison gas head-on. If Xiao Yan had not been relying on the strength of three types of heavenly flames, he would have been eroded by this kind of poison gas into nothing with just a first contact. There was no need to even talk about driving it away. Gathering the poison gas, replacing it with the monster core, and using the Bodhisattva body transformation saliva too. Xiao Yan softly sighed after sensing the poison gas that had gathered together. He suddenly grabbed the Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion Beast's crystal monster core, and he placed it on the little fairy doctor's lower abdomen. The crystal had just made contact with the little fairy doctor's skin when she strangely emitted an unusual glow. After which, the crystal slowly merged with her skin. The monster core was strangely swallowed by the little fairy doctor's skin, soon entering the swirl of gray poison gas. After which, it lingered in the middle of the swirl. Xiao Yan's expression became graver after the successful insertion of the monster core. His eyes slid to the jade box beside him, where the Bodhisattva body transformation saliva was located. The next step was the most important one. End of chapter. Chapter 1091. I will kill whoever dares touch you. Xiao Yan's hand slightly curled. A suction force pulled the Bodhisattva body transformation saliva from the jade box into his hand. His eyes coagulated. A green-white flame separated from the surface of the little fairy doctor's body. After which, it wrapped around the Bodhisattva body transformation saliva. When the flame made contact with the Bodhisattva body transformation saliva, it immediately began to writhe as though it had been provoked. From the looks of it, it seemed that it intended to escape the flame. Xiao Yan would not allow such a situation to occur. 
The Bodhisattva body transformation saliva might possess a unique effect, but it needed to undergo a slight refinement by the heavenly flame before it could be used on the little fairy doctor's body. The green-white flame churned even more intensely. He slightly clenched his hand. Under this frightening temperature, the Bodhisattva body transformation saliva lasted two to three minutes before it gradually ceased wiggling. Huh? Xiaoyan removed the Bodhisattva body transformation saliva from the flame after the refinement was completed. However, he was surprised to see that the Bodhisattva body transformation saliva had gradually revealed many emerald green dust-like particles. In the blink of an eye, they formed an emerald green bead the size of a palm. The Bodhisattva body transformation saliva slightly trembled the instant the emerald green bead was formed. Immediately, this bead fell and was grabbed by Xiao Yan's hand. This emerald green bead was not smooth. Instead, it felt a little rough. However, one could sense a thriving life force when one held it in one's hands. This is Bodhisattva seed? Xiao Yan's eyes revealed his surprise as he looked at the emerald green bead that had appeared in his hand for no reason. A moment later, his eyes focused as he exclaimed. The Bodhisattva seed, like the Bodhisattva heart, was something that originated from the Bodhisattva ancient tree. However, this kind of rare item was just as rare as the Bodhisattva heart. Normally, it would transform into powder in an instant after falling from the Bodhisattva ancient tree. It was extremely difficult for an outsider to obtain. The precipitation within the Bodhisattva body transformation saliva can actually form the Bodhisattva seed. Xiao Yan's eyes flashed quickly as he suddenly came to an understanding. The legend says that one would be able to sense the existence of the Bodhisattva heart by obtaining the Bodhisattva body transformation saliva was indeed true. However, the Bodhisattva body transformation saliva in the legend should mean the Bodhisattva seed. Only by obtaining the Bodhisattva seed would one obtain the chance to sense the legendary Bodhisattva heart. Xiao Yan slowly clenched his hand. A joy flashed through his eyes. He did not expect this unintentional consequence would enable him to obtain this unique item. A divine item like the Bodhisattva heart possessed an allure that could not be matched by an elite Du Zun, because the Bodhisattva heart could raise the chances of success while one was advancing to the Du Sheng class. Just this point alone was enough to cause every elite Du Zun to pounce on it like a moth attracted to fire. Xiao Yan did not have time to carefully study why he did not sense anything after obtaining this Bodhisattva seed. His hand grabbed the cold jade box suspended beside him and carefully placed the Bodhisattva seed into it. After which, he returned the box to his storage ring. This thing was far too precious. If word were to spread, it would end up resulting in a big commotion. Even some old demon Duzuns, who were living in seclusion, would likely be lured out by this. At that time, he would have to flee with all his might. Therefore, Xiao Yan made up his mind. If he did not possess sufficient strength, it was best that he did not find the Bodhisattva heart. Otherwise, he would really end up in a miserable state and would lose more than he would gain. After storing away the Bodhisattva seed, Xiao Yan's eyes swiftly looked back at the little fairy doctor in front of him, whose body was trembling while her eyes were tightly shut. Subsequently, he grabbed the emerald green Bodhisattva body transformation saliva from the flame. He inhaled a deep breath of air and pressed it against the little fairy doctor's smooth lower abdomen. The Bodhisattva body transformation saliva had just made contact with the little fairy doctor's body when it emitted a squeaking sound. It found her pores and quietly entered her body. An emerald green color that was filled with life immediately spread from the little fairy doctor's lower abdomen after the Bodhisattva body transformation saliva entered it. Within a couple of breaths, it completely circulated around the little fairy doctor's body. An emerald green liquid adhered on every corner of the little fairy doctor's body. Upon the invasion of this Bodhisattva body transformation saliva, her veins and muscles that had lost some life because of the poison air once again began to radiate with life. The density of the life force being emitted was even greater than it had been before. It is indeed worthy of being the Bodhisattva body transformation saliva. Joy flashed across Xiao Yan's face as he sensed the life force swiftly radiating from the little fairy doctor's body. The effectiveness of the Bodhisattva body transformation saliva had exceeded his expectations. Next will be to resolve the strength of the woeful poison. Xiao Yan's expression once again turned grave. He curled two of his fingers and swiftly pressed them against the little fairy doctor's lower abdomen. Following the arrival of his fingers, the green-white flame surrounding the grayish swirl immediately split apart, forming a small opening. Wave after wave of emerald-green liquid swiftly entered through the gap. 
Finally, it carried a slight gurgling sound as it charged into the gray poison swirl. The gray-colored poison gas that was filled with a deadly aura immediately reacted after the Bodhisattva body transformation saliva touched it. The grayish gas crazily churned. While it churned, the deadly aura contained within her body was swiftly neutralized by the life force contained within the Bodhisattva body transformation saliva. Little fairy doctor, circulate your Du Qi and suppress the poison gas. Turn it into a poison dam. Xiao Yan immediately let out a stern cry after sensing the swiftly disappearing deadly aura. The cry was just like thunder as it rumbled to the deepest parts of the little fairy doctor's soul. The little fairy doctor's soul recovered some consciousness after this cry from Xiao Yan. After which, she hurriedly circulated her Du Qi and followed the method that was described by the Poison Dan method from back then. She gradually began to suppress the mighty poison gas. Under the little fairy doctor's control, this poison gas spiral began to head to the monster core located at the middle. The monster core began to emit a wild, violent energy in the face of the poison gas in an attempt to resist the erosion. Boom. This kind of poison gas and wild energy collision did not last long before it suddenly unleashed a wave of deep muffled sounds. The energy within the monster core was swiftly swallowed and occupied by the woeful poison vapor. Along with the erosion of this poison gas, the monster core began to turn round, and the crystal started to emit a gray luster. The gray-colored poison gas spiral continued to rotate at a rapid speed. Mighty woeful poison gas surged unceasingly into the round monster core. As more Duki surged into it, the size of that monster core shrank at a slow pace. Huh. Thank the heavens. Xiao Yan exclaimed in the outside world when he sensed the orderly scene occurring within the little fairy doctor's body. Immediately, a tiredness rose within his heart. After which, his limbs collapsed. Everything seemed to have smoothly progressed. Currently, all he needed to do was wait for the little fairy doctor to absorb all of the woeful poison gas. Once the poison dan was formed, the woeful poison gas would be fully under the little fairy doctor's control. It would no longer erupt without reason. It had been many years since he had made his promise to the little fairy doctor. Now, he had finally fulfilled it. While Xiao Yan was resolving the woeful poison body's problem for the little fairy doctor, there was a cold aura spreading within a large hall located deep within an icy region far from Yi City. You left with 54 people, yet you are the only one who has returned. Tianxi, is this the accountability that you have brought back? A white-robed figure was seated on an ice-cold throne in an ice-cold hall. A pair of emotionless eyes glanced at the old man creeping on the ground within the hall. His calm voice, however, caused the coldness within the hall to soar. Valley Chief, this entire matter is not related to this subordinate. All of it is because there is a mistake in the report. There is an elite Du Zun in that group. This subordinate can be considered lucky to have managed to escape and return this time around. The old man on the ground of the hall raised his head. He was surprisingly elder Tian Shi who had escaped from the hands of Tian Ho Zun Ji. Du Zun? How many star Du Zun? A ripple appeared in the eyes of the human figure on the ice-cold throne when he heard this. He should only be a one-star Du Zun. Otherwise, this subordinate would not have been able to escape from his hands. Tianchi hesitated for a moment before respectfully replying. Kiki, no wonder he is able to turn Tianchi into such a miserable state. He is a one-star Du Zun. An elderly voice suddenly sounded. If one were to follow the voice and look over, one would see another old man in a white leather outfit located in a corner of the hall. A smile was hung on this old man's face. He did not possess the respect an ordinary person would show when mentioning a Duzun. Only one star huh? The human figure on the ice-cold throne slightly nodded. His finger gently pressed on his large armrest. A moment later, he spoke in a feigned voice, this venerable self must obtain the woeful poison body. If it's a one-star Du Zun, he does not possess the qualification to get this venerable self to give up. Do you know where that group headed to? Tianxi shook his head with some embarrassment when he heard his question. He hardly had the time to flee. Where would he find the time to bother about the whereabouts of those fellows? The human figure on the ice throne frowned when he saw Tian Shi shake his head. The chill that caused one's heart to palpitate slowly permeated the hall. Tianxi trembled under this frightening chill that would even cause Du Qi to freeze. Tisk tisk, Bing Zun Ji, there is no need to get angry. We are aware of where that group of people is. A strange black vapor suddenly appeared within the hall while a coldness spread. Immediately, the black fog gathered, transforming into a human figure. The black fog wiggled and a faint metallic clanging sound was emitted from within. 
Hall of Souls? You have actually come to my Ice River Valley, what rare guests. The appearance of the black fog did not cause the human figure on the icy cold throne to feel even the least bit surprised. He simply spoke in an indifferent manner. Tisk tisk, there is someone within that group who is a target of our Hall of Souls. Since we have similar motive, we might be able to join hands together this time around. What does Bing Zunji think? A strange laugh was emitted from the wiggling black fog. The woeful poison body belongs to my ice river valley. We will leave the others to you. The human figure on the ice cold throne slowly stood up. A frightening air seemed to have been spat out of his breath, transforming into a cold stream that spread apart. He spoke these words softly after glancing at the figure made of black fog. You are indeed worthy of being Bing Zunji. This boldness is something that an ordinary person has difficulty matching. Tisk tisk, in that case, I hope that we will cooperate well. While a large hand was moving against Xiao Yan's group in an ice-cold large hall, the space of a wormhole on the far edge of the pill region began to form some ripples. Immediately, many human figures broke through the space and appeared. After which, they emitted some swoosh swoosh sounds and stood orderly in this open space. Numerous powerful killing auras spat out like volcanoes, causing this open ground to instantly become silent. Everyone were stunned as they looked at the black-colored figures. The hearts of those with stronger eyesight would beat rapidly at this moment because they would have discovered that the weakest among these black figures was at the Du Huang class. Their hearts would start beating even quicker when their eyes moved over the two black-clothed bold men who were the leaders. They caused the space around them to distort by simply standing there. The entire area had become quiet as their vast mighty auras spread, causing quite a number of self-proclaimed experts to tremble. These black figures did not leave immediately after landing on the ground because the space of once again became distorted soon after they landed. When the space became distorted, the many black figures, with the exception of the two leading old men, emitted a swish sound. They knelt to the distorted space with one knee on the ground in front of many shocked eyes. There was a respect that came from their hearts appearing in their eyes. Numerous dull gazes slowly turned to the distorted space. Expert Du Zongs knelt and welcomed, while elite Du Zongs lowered their heads. This terrifying lineup was something they had seen for the first time in all these years. They really wanted to know which damn ultimate authority possessed such greatness. It was likely that even the three valleys and two sects didn't possess such an ability. The fluctuating space slowly came to a stop in front of many people's unblinking eyes. Immediately, a delicate figure slowly appeared in the distorted space. After which, she lifted her leg gently and strode through the space, appearing in this sunny area. The delicate-looking green-clothed lady gently placed her foot on the empty ground, while the entire place was silent. Her alluring, exquisite face was gently raised. She looked in the direction of the distant Yi city. Immediately, she revealed a smile. A smile that could ruin a city. Big Brother Xiao Yan. With Shunar around, anyone who dares to touch you. I will kill them. End of chapter. Chapter 1092. Core Bead. Numerous rays of light scattered down from the sky onto the ancient altar. Finally, they entered the interior of the altar, as though it had a true form, bringing about wave after wave of warmth. Xiao Yan sat cross-legged under the many intersecting light rays. He glanced at the little fairy doctor in front of him. There was no longer even the faintest bit of poison vapor being emitted from the surface of her body. Her skin, that had originally been a pale white because of the woeful poison body, had once again emitted healthy, sleek red color. Clearly, this body of hers, that had been destroyed by the poison over many years, had once again been revitalized. Xiao Yan's eyes swept around before they paused on the little fairy doctor's smooth lower abdomen. At this moment, a surging energy was located at that spot. Moreover, this energy was continuously shrinking to that spot at a speed visible to the naked eye. In the face of this shrinking, the little fairy doctor's naked body appeared like warm jade as it slowly emitted a faint luster. Looking from a distance, she appeared just like a fairy in the sky, giving her a holy feeling. Xiao Yan's eyes swept around some more before being lowered. An ordinary person was unable to imagine just how difficult it was to resist this allure when it was spread at an unexpected time. It was just like a goddess in one's heart suddenly revealing an enchanting appearance in front of oneself. It was just like a charm being suddenly unleashed. Xiao Yan's eyes observed his nose while his nose observed his heart. This lasted for a moment, but Xiao Yan was still unable to focus his mind. Immediately, he let out a bitter laugh. He took out a large robe from his storage ring and gently covered the little fairy doctor's lovely body. He was also an ordinary man. 
it was best that there was less of such temptation. One would be psychologically deformed if there was too much of it. After completing this safety precaution, Xiao Yan finally let out a sigh of relief. His eyes wandered in all directions. The light being reflected from the smooth stone walls caused him to narrow his eyes. By sitting within this altar, it appeared as though he was in a world of sunlight. It seemed as if this altar was another bright sun surrounding them. Currently, the interior of the little fairy doctor's body could be considered to have entered an orderly state. As long as she compressed a woeful poison vapor into the monster core, she would be able to successfully form the poison dan. This process was something Xiao Yan was unable to help with. All she could do was rely on her own strength. Although there was nothing left for Xiao Yan to do in this place, it was naturally not possible for him to leave now. He needed to wait until the little fairy doctor completely formed the poison dan before he could relax. After all, this poison dan method was something that he had no experience with. Xiao Yan sat on the ground. He extended both of his hands in a bored manner and lazily stretched his waist. He shifted his eyes and suddenly stopped them on the bottomless hole within the altar. Xiao Yan blinked his eyes. He hesitated for a moment before shifting his body, carefully moving to the side of the hole in the ground. His gaze drifted into it, only to see an endless darkness. Other than its creator, it was likely that no one knew just where this hole led. The fire affinity energy inside is indeed extremely dense. Xiao Yan fondled his chin. He was unclear of why this hole no longer emitted the core fire seedlings. However, he was indeed a little interested in this thing. Of course, one should say that he was interested in the sun flame of this altar. After musing for a moment, Xiao Yan's hand gently pressed against a hole in the ground. He let out a soft cry, and a suction force surged out of his hand. Following the surging of this suction force, a great amount of fire affinity energy was pulled up. Finally, it scattered. However, the so-called core fire seedling did not appear. Xiao Yan frowned when he saw this. He immediately let out a cold laugh. He did not believe that he was unable to pull out even a little core fire seedling. Xiao Yan resolved himself. He suddenly increased the suction force, and wave after wave of dense fire, affinity energy was continuously emitted from the hole in the ground. However, the so-called core fire seedling still did not show itself. This kind of crazy suction force continued for over 10 minutes. Just when Xiao Yan was feeling somewhat helpless, a thought suddenly passed through his heart. His hand quickly shifted aside. After his hand was shifted aside, a wisp of an extremely tiny blood-red fire seedling fled the hole in the ground with lightning-like speed. This wisp of fiery red fire seedling had just escaped when it made contact with the light rays above. Immediately, a ripple was formed between the two. One could hear a puff sound as a wave of extremely warm white-colored flame appeared out of nowhere in front of Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan was surprised as he looked at the flame in front of him. The flame was pure white in color, but its interior was filled with countless vein-like blood threads. It was as though they were the blood vessels of this flame, covering its body. This is the sun flame? Xiao Yan gently extended his hand and received this white-colored flame. The fire energy within was extremely calm and did not possess the violence of other flames. However, with Xiao Yan's eyesight, he was naturally able to tell that this sun flame was much stronger than some ordinary beast flames. Due to it not possessing violent characteristic, it might not be strong when it came to attacking, but it was exceptionally suitable to be used to refine pills. After all, it was a little easier to control it. I wonder if this sun flame can nourish my flame creation skill? A thought suddenly passed through Xiao Yan's mind when he looked at this white flame. Currently, the life transformation flame was only in an embryonic form. It was far from sufficient for him to use it to form the extermination fire lotus. If this sun flame can also be turned into nourishment for the life transformation flame like other beasts' flames, he would have gained something for nothing. Xiao Yan did not hesitate even a little as this thought flashed across his heart. He clenched his hand and absorbed the sun flame into his body. After which, the glazed lotus heart flame surged out and easily refined it. Following which, the flame was merged with the tiny life transformation flame in his body. It is indeed effective. When the sun flame merged with the fire seed, Xiao Yan could clearly sense the fire seed significantly expand. This kind of swelling was far greater than when he absorbed some ordinary beast flames. A joy flashed across Xiao Yan's heart when he sensed the unique effect of the sun flame. This sun flame was not as difficult to tame as a beast flame. It was also extremely easy to refine it. If there was a large amount of it, it would be possible to cultivate this life-transforming fire seed. 
upon thinking about how his extermination fire lotus would have enough resources to be unleashed without worry after the strengthening of this life-transforming flame, Xiao Yan's heart suddenly became fiery hot. His eyes suddenly turned to the hole in the ground in front of him as he laughed. He once again extended his hand, and a suction force suddenly appeared. This suction continued for over 20 minutes before the wisp of a tiny blood-colored fire seed sprang out of the hole in the ground. It was swallowed by Xiao Yan after it merged with the sunlight and formed the sun flame. Having tasted the benefits of this sun flame, Xiao Yan became so happy that he ceased being tired. He repeatedly and forcefully removed core fire seedlings from the hole in the ground. However, this method of his was clearly not a long-term solution. The hole in the ground had already been exhausted of core fire seedling. After being forcefully sucked out five or six times, the seedlings finally ceased appearing. Regardless of how Xiao Yan sucked, even until he was covered with perspiration, not one fire seedling came out. Has it really been sucked empty? Xiao Yan rubbed the perspiration on his forehead. He frowned and looked at the hole in the ground, which was void of any activity, before muttering to himself. Xiao Yan knit his brows and mused for a moment. After which, he suddenly shut his eyes, and a majestic spiritual strength slowly spread from between his brows. Finally, it transformed into a tiny wisp as it entered the hole in a lightning-like fashion. Xiao Yan's spiritual strength immediately sensed a great heat after entering the hole in the ground. Even though his spiritual strength was protected by the heavenly flame, he still felt a slight giddiness. Xiao Yan's heart became cold as he sensed this giddiness. There was such a dense fire poison within the deep parts of this hole. Moreover, this kind of fire poison was even able to erode one's soul. Just when Xiao Yan was hesitant about withdrawing his spiritual strength, a red light suddenly flickered in the deepest regions of the dark black hole. Huh. The flickering red light was sensed by Xiao Yan. Immediately, he let out a surprised cry. He hesitated for a moment before maneuvering his spiritual strength. He rushed over to the place where the red glow was flickering. The shuttling speed of the spiritual strength was extremely fast. A moment later, the red glow appeared in front of Xiao Yan's spiritual sight. The red glow was emitted from a cluster of some unknown, sticky, blood-red liquid. This liquid was circular in shape, and its size coincidentally sealed off the bottom of the hole. What a shocking fire affinity energy. Xiao Yan inhaled a breath of air the moment his gaze landed on the sticky, blood-red liquid. The sticky, solid-like liquid had been formed from countless amounts of pure fire affinity energy. No wonder this ground hole no longer produces any core fire seedlings. They have all been blocked at this spot. Xiao Yan also obtained an understanding after seeing this cluster of blood-red liquid. However, he did not have any thoughts of dredging it. The energy contained within it was too wild and violent. If he touched even a little of it, the rest would also react. If he was careless, it was likely that even this spiritual strength would not be able to flee this hole in the ground. Xiao Yan mused for a moment before finally deciding not to bother with it. Just when he was about to turn around and leave, however, he suddenly glanced over a red-colored light glow flickering within the red-colored liquid. This is? Xiao Yan's soul turned its eyes toward that red-colored glow, only to see that there was a thumb-sized, round, red bead suspended within the sticky blood-colored liquid. The blood-red bead might not be big, but at a glance, it appeared just like a fire bead with a flame burning above it. Its outer appearance was exceptionally mysterious. Xiao Yan's spiritual gaze was startled as he looked at the blood-red bead. A moment later, he finally inhaled a deep breath. Core bead? End of chapter. Chapter 1093? Obtain. Core bead. Normally, it was called the core fire bead. It was a kind of energy bead formed from essence energy that was found deep underground after a countless number of years. This kind of bead contained an extremely vast, mighty energy within it. It was rumored that some tier 8 or even tier 9 medicinal pill would use this legendary core fire bead. This legendary core bead was usually hidden deep underground and was extremely difficult to find. However, when some volcanoes erupted, the core bead hidden deep within might be spat out. Normally speaking, most core beads in the hands of certain individuals were obtained by this method. It was extremely rare for someone to personally find this core bead deep underground like Xiao Yan just did. Xiao Yan's heart involuntarily beat a little faster when he saw this core bead. He similarly understood just how rare a core bead was. Moreover, the core bead was also a key ingredient in refining the core lightning bead. The core lightning bead was not a medicinal pill. Instead, it was a refinement that utilized an extremely unorthodox formula. 
it referred a kind of strange refining method to refine the core bead. If the refinement was a success, it would end up forming a core lightning bead. This thing could not be consumed by a person, but it possess an extremely terrifying might. Even an elite Duzun would at least suffer serious injuries, even if they did not die, should they be struck head-on by this thing. Xiaoyan had accidentally come across the refinement of this core lightning bead while searching through the medicinal formulae that Yao Lao had left behind. He had remembered it due to its shocking strength. After having arrived in the central plains, Xiao Yan had thought of creating one. However, he could only place this thought in his heart due to the difficulty of finding the core bead. He never expected that he would be this blessed today. If I am able to obtain it, it would end up being a kind of lethal trump card. Xiao Yan focused on the fiery red bead within the blood red sticky energy. He mused for a moment before he was finally unable to endure the temptation in his heart. Wealth was found amid danger. It was worthwhile to take a little risk for a unique treasure like the core bead. Xiao Yan ceased hesitating as this thought flashed across his heart. A spiritual strength lingered over the blood red colored, sticky liquid. Although there was still some distance, the wild, violent energy contained in the liquid still caused some ripples form in Xiao Yan's spiritual strength. Xiao Yan ignored the slight ripple in his soul. His heart focused on that fiery red bead as he waited for the best opportunity to attack. After a visual inspection, Xiao Yan understood that the wild and violent energy within the sticky liquid had an intermittent strength and weakness. One could use the strength of the glow on its surface to identify the level of this strength. This cluster of blood-red, sticky liquid vaguely radiated a surging glow. Its intermittent brightness and darkness had become this bottomless hole's only source of light. Xiao Yan's spiritual strength lingered over this place like a poison snake and did not move. The invisible spiritual strength slowly wiggled. This silence continued for an unknown amount of time. Then, the repeatedly flashing fire glow on the sticky liquid surface suddenly descended to its dimmest level. Qi. The moment this blood-red liquid suddenly became dim, the spiritual strength that lingered over it was like a leopard as it pounced toward its prey. It transformed into a lightning flash as it shot out. Puff. The speed of the spiritual strength was extremely terrifying. Within less than a breath's time, it had charged into the blood-red liquid. A slight puff sound appeared as the spiritual strength charged into it. Xiao Yan seemed to have barged into magma the moment his spiritual strength made contact with the sticky liquid. A searing hot feeling eroded toward the deepest parts of Xiao Yan's soul. Fortunately, he had the protection of the heavenly flame, so this kind of searing heat was unable to cause him much harm within a short period of time. This kind of searing heat continued for a short instance before Xiao Yan's spiritual strength charged toward the core bead. His spiritual strength curled in a lightning-like manner and instantly turned around. Finally, it wildly shot toward the exit of the ground hole. Boom. The core bead had just charged out of this blood-colored sticky liquid after being swept by Xiao Yan's spiritual strength when the liquid seemed to have sensed something. The wave of frighteningly wild, violent energy transformed into a blood-colored flood as it chased after the fleeing spiritual strength with incredible speed. Xiao Yan felt the skin on his head turn numb after sensing the hot energy being transmitted from behind. If he were to be struck by the wild and violent energy within such a narrow space, it was likely that his soul would crumble on the spot. Immediately, he clenched his teeth and unleashed his speed to the limit. With a swoosh sound, he charged to the exit of the ground hole. Xiao Yan's speed was extremely fast. However, the blood-colored flood behind him was also similarly quick. It was following close behind as it rushed over. During this chase, the hole's exit at the top finally revealed some light. Xiao Yan braced his mind upon seeing this. He once again increased his speed. The next instant, he charged out of the narrow hole in the ground. The spiritual strength charged out of the hole in a lightning-like manner and entered the spot between Xiao Yan's eyes. The core bead was grabbed by Xiao Yan in his palm. Xiao Yan curled his hand after the soul returned to his body. A suction force surged out, and the dark black stone tablet by the site immediately shifted over with a rumbling sound after which, it swiftly covered the hole in the ground. Boom. The dark black stone tablet had just covered the hole when it violently trembled. However, this black stone tablet had clearly been made from an extraordinary material. It was able to block the attack of the wild, violent energy. Swish. Swish. While the stone tablet was blocking the attack, the rays of light around the altar suddenly shifted. After which, all of them landed on the stone tablet. The tablet was just like an extremely heavy crown as it firmly pressed on the hole. 
With the aid of the sunlight, the shaking of the stone tablet was slowly reduced. A moment later, it stopped. Xiao Yan, who was waiting solemnly by the side, finally sighed in relief after hearing the stone tablet become quiet. Immediately, his eyes revealed a strange expression as he glanced at this ancient tablet. It unexpectedly possessed a suppressing effect. That was really close. Xiao Yan wiped off the cold sweat on his forehead as he bitterly laughed. If his speed had been a little slower while he was within the hole earlier, it was likely that he could forget about obtaining the core bead. His soul might have even ended up suffering a serious injury. After gradually calming his fluctuating mental state, Xiao Yan hurriedly glanced at the little fairy doctor by the side. He sighed in relief when he saw that she had not been disturbed. After which, he lowered his head and slowly opened his hand. A fiery red bead was lying within it. This is the core bead, huh? Xiao Yan gently clenched his hand. A hot feeling spread out of the core bead. By holding it, Xiao Yan was surprised to realize that the surrounding fire affinity energy seemed to be vaguely gathering around his body. A wild joy suddenly surged into Xiao Yan's eyes when he sensed a slight change in the surrounding energy. This core bead possessed a miraculous effect of attracting the surrounding fire affinity energy. Would he not end up being able to gain twice the benefit with half the effort when he trained in the future? It is worthy of being the core bead. It is indeed mysterious. Xiao Yan played with the fiery red bead in his hand. He involuntarily felt unwilling to put it down due to him liking it too much. The reward this time around was indeed great. Unfortunately, I cannot easily pull aside the stone tablet now. Nevertheless, without the sticky liquid blocking its path, the core fire seedling should appear once again. The speed it creates the sun fire should also increase. Xiao Yan played with the core bead for a moment before turning his head back to the stone tablet. He shook his head a little regretfully. Originally, he had planned to use the sun flame in this place to cultivate and strengthen the life-transforming flame fire seed. Just when Xiao Yan was regretfully sighing, a ray of light scattered down from the sky and coincidentally landed on the core bead in his palm. Puff. The fiery red core bead suddenly shook under the shining light. Immediately, a slight sound appeared. A dense white flame suddenly curled and rose from the core fire bead. The sudden, unexpected change caused Xiao Yan to be startled. He was just about to toss aside the flame in his hand as a reflex when he glanced at the core fire bead below this white-colored flame. His eyes immediately coagulated, this is the sun flame? How can it undergo such a transformation without the core fire seedling? Xiao Yan knit his brows. Immediately, he seemed to have thought of something and his fist suddenly smashed against his palm. That's right, this core bead has absorbed an unknown amount of core fire seedling over the years. That is why it has such a reaction after making contact with sunlight. It has turned into the source of this sun flame. In other words, as long as the energy within this core bead is not exhausted, it will be able to continuously create sun flames. Even with Xiao Yan's calmness, he could not help but feel extreme joy despite his calm self. If this was really the case, the life transformation flame fire seed in his body would end up with an unending source of nourishment. Moreover, he would also be able to save time and effort since he wouldn't need to run around in search of various beast flames. I have really found a treasure this time around. Xiao Yan parted his mouth. At this moment, it was really only too practical to obtain the core bead. Xiao Yan inhaled a couple of breaths and got himself to gradually calm down. He glanced at the little fairy doctor, whose lovely body was still seated without the slightest movement. After seeing that she was fine, he gradually nodded and sat down once again. He began to absorb the sun flame created by the core bead. With the core bead, the strengthening of the life-transforming flame was only a matter of time. Xiao Yan's entire mind was focused on absorbing the sun flame during the subsequent days. Amid this refinement where meals and rest were forgotten, the life transformation flame within his body swiftly strengthened at a speed visible to the naked eye. Three days passed by in a flash during the straining. When Xiao Yan was immersed in the joy of the swiftly strengthening life transformation flame, the year-round tropical climate of Yi City suddenly turned freezing one day. Tiny snowflakes slowly descended from the sky in front of the stunned gazes of a countless number of people. After seeing the snow that slowly fell over the entire city, there was finally someone who suddenly sensed something wrong. He leaped to high ground, looked out of the city, and immediately became stunned. One could see a countless number of white figures slowly surrounding the city and coming from all directions. These white figures were wearing a similar badge on their chests. It was a beautiful snow flower with a bone-piercing chill. Ice River Valley. 
End of chapter. Chapter 1094. Imminent Big Battle. A countless number of people within Yi City were stunned as they looked at the white figures that covered the area outside the city. Majestic and shockingly cold auras continuously surged out of the bodies of these people. Finally, they influenced the environment of Yi City. The descending temperature within the city and the scattering snowflakes were surprisingly a result of the majestic cold aura. These? These are all people from the Ice River Valley? Why have they come to Yi City? Their lineup is this frightening? Don't tell me that they have come after the Yi Clan? Nonsense, the Ice River Valley's status is far greater than the Yi Clan or even all the five great clans. Why would they covet after the Yi Clan? In that case, do you think that they summoned such a large force just to come to Yi City to play? Due to the sudden arrival of the Ice River Valley's large army that had come from all directions, Yi City descended into a great uproar. They did not understand just what kind of person could get one of the three large valleys, the Ice River Valley, to head over with such a large force. The cold air outside of the city was just like a natural barrier. It finally slowly came to a stop when it had spread around a radius of a hundred meters from the Yi Clan. After which, they spread apart and covered the entire city. With this cold air barrier, Yi City was completely surrounded. No one could enter or leave. Yi Clan, hand over the woeful poison lady and her group. Otherwise, the Yi Clan will be destroyed today. While the people in the city felt panic because of the cold air barrier that had suddenly formed, a faint elderly voice was slowly transmitted throughout the city, spurred on by powerful Du Qi. Finally, it clearly resounded beside everyone's ears. Woeful Poison Lady? They are here because of the Woeful Poison Lady, no wonder. It is unexpected that the Woeful Poison Lady is at the Yi Clan. These fellows are really bold. The commotion within the city had calmed greatly when they heard this elderly voice. Some people sighed in relief. It seemed that the Ice River Valley was after the Yi Clan. Although they had surrounded the city, the Ice River Valley was unlikely to harm the innocents, as long as the others do not act recklessly. A couple of white figures slowly walked through the air and arrived. After which, they stopped walking and swept their eyes indifferently over the city. After which, their eyes paused on the center of the city where the Yi Clan was located. The leader of these few white figures was surprisingly Shi Tian, who had fled miserably from Tian Ho Zunji's hands back then. A couple of powerful Ice River Valley elders were beside him. Additionally, there was an old man with white-colored woolen clothing. The old man had white hair and a warm smile hung on his face. Even Tian Shi's eyes would contain some fear when he looked at this person. Following the appearance of Tian Shi's group, another uproar appeared within the city. Numerous exclamations resounded over the place. That is Tian Shi from the Ice River Valley? It is unexpected that even he has come this time around. You are really blind. All you see is Tian Shi, but you have failed to recognize that great being beside him. That? That is the first elder of the Ice River Valley, Tian Shu Angzi? This? The Ice River Valley has even deployed him? It is rumored that this Tian Shu Angzi advanced to the Du Zun class 10 years ago. The Ice River Valley has really put up a hefty price to capture this woeful poison lady. While the city was in an uproar, the interior of the Yi Clan was also extremely uneasy. All the members of the Yi Clan were looking at the line up in the sky with stunned expressions, especially Yi Zhong and the few elders. Their faces were pale white. Tian Shuang Zi, Tian Shi. Yi Zhong mouth slightly trembled. Either of these people was enough to destroy the current Yi Clan. Now that the two of them were together, this Yi Clan. Woeful Poison Lady? Since when did our Yi Clan hide the Woeful Poison Lady? An elder opened his mouth and questioned in panic. The people on his sides pondered his questions after hearing him. A moment later, they seemed to have recalled something. Is it Xiao Yan's group? The woeful poison lady is among them? Yi Zhong and the other few elders suddenly understood something. Their bodies trembled. Finally, they understood who the culprit was. What is there to panic about? It is not as though we are asking you to fight to the death with them. A faint voice suddenly sounded while Yi Zhong's group was panicking. Yi Zhong turned his eyes, only to see an elderly figure slowly appearing in the courtyard. That person was naturally Tian Ho Zunji. Yi Zhong and the others did not dare to slight Tian Ho Zunji. They could not afford to offend the Ice River Valley, but neither could they offend the person in front of them. At that moment, they could only reveal a bitter expression. Being caught in between two enormous beings was the most miserable fate. Tian Ho Zunji placed his hands behind him. His eyes narrowed slightly as he looked at the sky in the distance. His sight seemed to have penetrated through the air as it paused on the white cotton-clothed old man beside Yanshi. 
Du Zun Hu. They have still found this place. Tian Ho Zun Ji softly muttered to himself. A soft sound also suddenly appeared by his side. Tian Ho Zun Ji turned his head only to see a young figure standing on the building eaves. His body stood as straight as a spear, while a sharp aura was vaguely being emitted. Looking at his appearance, who else could it be other than Xiao Yan? Ugh, they are indeed resourceful to be able to find us here. How is the little fairy doctor? Tian Ho Zun Ji moved. He appeared beside Xiao Yan and asked. Soon. However, she cannot fight now. Xiao Yan slightly nodded as he answered. This time around, the Ice River Valley has sent some truly troublesome people. I will most likely be delayed by that old fellow. A grave expression flashed across Tian Ho Zun Ji's eyes. The current situation was not a good one. If he was restrained by a Du Zun, Tian Chi would definitely attack Xiao Yan. The current Xiao Yan would likely have difficulty dealing with an expert at the peak of the Du Zong class. Moreover, there were still quite a few similarly strong Ice River Valley's elders. Xiao Yan gently nodded. He also knew that they had descended into a dangerous situation. After letting out a soft slow breath, a ruthless expression suddenly flashed through his eyes. The experts that the Ice River Valley had deployed this time around had somewhat exceeded their expectations. However, they would likely have to put in a hefty price if they wished to crunch these hard bones. Otherwise, they would have difficulty succeeding. Elder Yi Zhong, please rest assured. This matter is something caused by my group. Your Yi clan will not be implicated in it. Xiao Yan turned his head and faced the white faces of Yi Zhongs and the others. He revealed a slight smile before finally turning his eyes to Tian Ho Zunji. He smiled and asked, Old Mr. Yao, do you dare meet this Ice River Valley with me? Kiki, the old me has even seen elite Du Sheng's back then, much less such a lineup. Tian Ho Zunji laughed. Xiao Yan chuckled. He raised his head and looked at the many white figures in the sky. A wave of pride surged from his heart. He had never feared fighting anyone ever since he had arrived in the Central Plains. Today, he would let this Ice River Valley know that they needed prepare a good set of teeth if they wanted to grind his hard bones. Xiao Yan's pride surged to the sky as his feet stepped through empty air and shot to the sky. After which, he paused a short distance in front of Tian Shi's group in front of a countless number of gazes. Tian Ho Zunji followed close behind. Old demon Tian Shi, you fled quite quickly the last time. It is unexpected that you have summoned so many reinforcements. Xiao Yan's feet stepped onto the sky as he faced Chi Tian, who was holding a snake-shaped walking stick on the other side. He involuntarily mocked. Tian Shi's expression involuntarily become a lot darker when he heard Xiao Yan's mockery. He said with a dense voice, Brat, you can just gain the advantage of words. Once you land in the hands of the old me, the old me will let you understand what is called a fate worse than death. The person who only managed to last one exchange dares to speak such arrogant words? Tian Ho Zunji grinned as he mocked. Seeing Tian Ho Zunji open his mouth, a terror also flashed across Tian Chi's eyes. Clearly, he still possessed a deep memory of the dangerous battle from the last time. Ha ha, this friend should be the person who defeated Tian Chi, right? Might I inquire your name? The white cotton clothed old man stared at Tian Ho Zunji and laughed. Tian Ho. So it is actually Tian Ho Zunji. The old me is the first elder of the Ice River Valley, Tian Shuang Zi. The old man smiled in a seemingly friendly manner. However, his eyes rotated as he said, This friend, today's matter is the grudge between my Ice River Valley and the woeful poison lady. Will you agree if the old me asks you not to intervene? Tian Ho Zunji laughed, but he did not reply. All he did was simply shake his head. The smile on Tian Shuang Zi's face was not reduced when he saw this. He continued to speak with a smile, in that case, the old me can only stop you. There is no need to hold back. Tian Ho Zunji returned the smile. However, a faint chill had already appeared within his eyes. Where is the woeful poison lady? Could she be hiding again? Tian Chi felt a little reassured when he saw the two exchanging tit for tat. He swept his gaze around him, but still failed to find the little fairy doctor's figure. He coldly laughed, today, my Ice River Valley has formed a city-locking formation around Yi City. None of you can flee. Xiao Yan's eyes gently drifted over Tian Shi. A faint chill also flashed within his dark black eyes. Kiki, there is no need to delay any longer. Things might change if you delay for too long. Leave this person to me. Hopefully, you will not make things go awry again. Otherwise, the Valley Chief will not let you off easily. Tian Shuang Zi's old sharp eyes swept over the city. Immediately, 
he frowned. His sharp instincts told him that it was best to stop speaking to the people in front of him. After saying those words, Tian Shuang Zi once again stepped through the empty air. After which, he appeared 10 meters away from Tian Ho Zun Ji. His eyes were locked onto Tian Ho Zun Ji. He did not even glance at Xiao Yan. Tian Shi nodded. His gaze was dark and ruthless as it turned to Xiao Yan. He laughed in a savage manner, brat, I want to see just who can rescue you this time around. Xiao Yan's expression was calm. Majestic Du Qi began to slowly circulate within his body. Tisk tisk, Elder Tian Shi, this person is the target of my Hall of Souls. May I know if you can leave him to me to deal with? Just as Tian Shi was about to attack, a dense black fog suddenly rushed over from the distance. After which, it appeared in the sky. A strange laugh resounded as it did so. Xiao Yan's calm expression instantly turned dangerous when this black fog appeared. His eyes revealed a ferocious expression as he looked at the black fog a short distance away. He spat out, Hall of Souls? Tisk tisk. It is really unexpected. It has only been a few years since we last met, but you have advanced to the Du Zong class. The old fellow's eye for choosing a disciple is really quite good. However, regardless of how good his eyesight is, he was still ultimately captured by this protector. Ha ha. The black fog churned and transformed into a black figure. A strange laugh that caused Xiao Yan's eyes to suddenly turn blood red was once again emitted. A shocking killing intent surged out of Xiao Yan's body like a volcano. Both of his eyes were blood red as a voice that contained an incomparable killing intent slipped between his teeth one word at a time. Protector. Wu. End of chapter. Chapter 1095. Three changes. Upon sensing the wild killing intent that surged out of Xiao Yan's body, the eyes of the entire city carried some surprise as they looked at him. Tianqi was also a little startled. Immediately, he thought about the change. It seemed that Xiao Yan should have some kind of grudge with the Hall of Souls since long ago. Tisk tisk, not a bad killing intent. It is much stronger than the Yu back then, who only knew how to borrow the strength of others and act mightily because of it. That black fog also rippled slowly when glared at with Xiao Yan's blood red eyes. Protector Wise cold laughter was immediately emitted. Xiao Yan's blood red eyes stared intently at Protector Wu. It was a long while later before he inhaled a deep breath of air. His hands trembled as he suppressed the explosive fury and killing intent within his heart. His voice had also become a little hoarse due to his fluctuating emotions. You deserve to die. Whether the old me deserves to die is not up to you as a younger generation to evaluate with such arrogant words. Protector Wu smiled coldly and said, the old me is even able to capture Yao Chen, much less you, this useless disciple. Xiao Yan's expression was deadly. He waved his hand and the earth demon puppet, which was emitting a bright silver glow, flashed and appeared. A ripple rose around the black fog of Protector Wu when he saw the appearance of the earth demon puppet. A surprised voice was emitted, it is actually a puppet? It is unexpected that after so many years, you are still only able to rely on outside strength. He he, Protector Wu, this puppet can match an eight-star Du Zong. However, you can rest assured that you can simply leave this puppet to the old me. All you need to do is capture this brat. Tianqi by the side smiled and spoke in a faint voice. In that case, I will trouble Elder Tianqi. Relax, once I capture this brat, the old me will hand him over to Elder, so that you can vent your anger properly. Protector Wu laughed in a sinister manner after hearing his words. With Protector Wu's current strength, he might not be afraid of this puppet, but it would be somewhat troublesome to deal with. He could save a lot of effort if Tianqi were to intervene and restrain it. Relax, I don't require the puppet to deal with you. Ridicule flashed across Xiao Yan's eyes. He could sense that Protector Wu had also become much stronger when compared to back then. Based on his guess, he should be around the level of an 8-star Du Zong. This training speed was quite great. From the looks of it, capturing Yao Lao back to the Hall of Souls had really benefited him. The strength of the current Protector Wu was only a little weaker when compared to Tianqi beside him. However, justice alone was not enough to make Xiao Yan feel helpless. The person in front of him was the one he hated the most. If not for this person, Yao Lao would not have fallen into the hands of the Hall of Souls and suffered an endless amount of bitterness. Your tongue is as razor sharp as it was before. Protector Wu faintly smiled. His foot immediately stepped forward. A clanging metallic sound was emitted from the black fog. Immediately, a black metal chain, with a black fog lingering over it, was extended from the black fog like a poisonous snake. It surrounded Protector Wu's body. 
a cold glint was flashing on the tip of the chain. Relax, you will be able to see Yao Chen again very soon. At that time, this protector will let that old fellow know that not a single person my Hall of Souls wants will be able to escape. Xiao Yan's expression was cold and indifferent. A jade green flame slowly surged out of his body. His hand was clenched, and the enormous heavy Shuin ruler appeared. The heavy ruler was slightly inclined as it was pointed at Protector Wu. Xiao Yan said, Your life will be taken by me today. Tisk tisk. Protector Wu merely laughed in a chilly manner in the face of Xiao Yan's words. Black fog surged, and the dark black chain that lingered around him suddenly trembled. It immediately transformed into lightning as it shot straight toward Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan's hand tightly gripped the heavy ruler. His eyes did not contain even the slightest ripple. His feet were gently shifted as the black colored lightning penetrated the sky, shooting toward to his shoulder. Clang! A jade green flame lingered over the heavy ruler. Xiao Yan turned his wrist, and the heavy ruler carried a hot fire glow and ruthlessly hacked at the chain. Under the high temperature of the glazed lotus heart flame, the strange black fog that lingered over the chain swiftly disappeared. Humph! Protector Wu was slightly startled as he sensed the enormous force being transmitted from the chain. Immediately, he let out a cold smile. His ten figures formed many afterimages. After which, one could hear wave after wave of the sizzling sound of rushing wind. Ten black-colored chains shot out of his body. They swiftly entangled in the air and formed a huge black chain spear. Go! A soft cry sounded, and the enormous black-colored chain lance rushed forth in a lightning-like manner from the strange black fog. It approached Xiao Yan within a flash. Xiao Yan's eyes narrowed when the black-colored chain lance disappeared. His legs swiftly took a couple of steps back. After which, his heavy ruler suddenly drew a couple of mysterious arcs. Six joint body flowing ruler, six joint fire. After images appeared as the heavy ruler was suddenly swung. A fire glow appeared on the top of the ruler. After which, it carried a sharp ruler glow and whizzed out. The ruler glow had just left the ruler when the space in front of it became distorted. An enormous chain lance broke through the air and revealed itself. It carried a frightening wind as it appeared in front of a countless number of gazes. Finally, it ruthlessly collided with that ruler glow. Bang! A shockingly loud sound appeared. A vast mighty energy ripple spread out in a ring-like fashion. A silver glow flashed under Xiao Yan's feet as his body swiftly withdrew. A mere two-star Du Zong dares to collide head-on with this protector. You are really seeking death. Protector Wu gave a dense smile. The black blow on his finger flashed as it suddenly pressed against the empty air. Split. Swoosh swoosh swoosh. After Protector Wu's voice sounded, the swiftly spreading energy ripple suddenly emitted the intense sound of splitting wind. Immediately, ten black figures suddenly rushed over like black-colored lightning. Their target was all the fatal spots around Xiao Yan's body. Xiao Yan knit his brows slightly after sensing that his entire body had been locked onto. However, his great battle experience allowed him to avoid panicking. The heavy ruler in his hand danced and numerous ruler afterimages appeared in a densely packed manner, transforming into layer after layer of defenses. Clang clang clang. The black colored chain shot against the ruler's shadow defense from all directions. It immediately emitted a continuous clear sound. Sparks swiftly flashed. Under the ten black chain crazy attack, the spherical ruler shadow defense ball began to show signs of shattering in, forcing him to swiftly pull back. This brat is nothing after having lost his puppet. Tianchi was suspended in the air by the side. He involuntarily let out a cold smile as he shook his head when he saw Xiao Yan being continuously defeated. Disdain flashed across his eyes. The layers upon layers of ruler shadows swiftly disappeared following the crazy attacks by the black colored chains. By relying on his own strength, Xiao Yan did indeed have difficulty fighting against an eight star Du Zong. Fortunately, his true fighting strength did not match the strength on his surface. When the final layer of ruler shadows disappeared, a bright silver glow surged out of his body. His body trembled and transformed into many afterimages that withdrew in a lightning-like fashion. Swoosh swoosh. The black-colored chains followed like shadows. Those afterimages had just appeared when these chains suddenly arrived and shattered them into nothingness. However, it was fortunate that Xiao Yan was faster than Protector Wu's fighting speed after having used the 3000 lightning movement. Xiao Yan, is this the ability you relied on to come to the Central Plains region? It is a joke if you wish to rescue Yao Chen with this strength of yours. 
A cold glint flashed across Protector Wu's eyes as he looked at Xiao Yan, who was as agile as a monkey. He immediately emitted a cold, ridiculing laugh. The silver glow flashed through the sky, and Xiao Yan appeared a hundred meters away. He completely ignored Protector Wu's hooting as he raised his head and revealed a ferocious smile to Protector Wu. The seal formed by both of his hands suddenly changed. Skyfire 3 Mysterious Change, First Change. Following the formation of the seal, a green-colored flame suddenly erupted from Xiao Yan's body before swiftly withdrawing again. Xiao Yan's aura suddenly soared when the green-colored flame shrank back into his body. Secret technique? Insignificant skill. Protector Wu let out a dark, cold smile in the face of Xiao Yan's soaring aura. He was completely unconcerned about it. This is the Burning Flame Valley's Skyfire 3 Mysterious Change. Tianqi by the side was slightly startled after seeing Xiao Yan use this technique. After which, he cried out in surprise. Protector Wu, you should be careful. This Skyfire 3 Mysterious Change is the top-tier secret technique of the Burning Flame Valley. I do not know how it managed to land in this brat's hand. If this secret technique is unleashed until the third change, his strength would at least be raised by three stars. However, those who can use this secret technique to the third change can be counted with one's fingers even in the burning flame valley. Tisk tisk, it's only three stars. This is insufficient to allow this brat to escape this protector's palm. That protector Wu coldly laughed when he heard Tianqi's words. Xiao Yan acted as though he did not hear the conversation of these two. His face was indifferent. After which, his hand seal changed once again and a wave of invisible flame erupted from his body. Skyfire 3 Mysterious Change, Second Change. Xiao Yan's aura continued to soar after this invisible flame erupted. This time around, the expressions of even Tianqi and Protector Wu changed. This was because Xiao Yan's aura had currently already soared to the point where it was near the six-star level. This brat actually possesses two types of heavenly flames. No wonder he manages to experience such a great increase in his strength when he uses the Skyfire 3 Mysterious Flame. Tianqi's expression slightly sank. A Skyfire 3 Mysterious Flames that consisted of two types of Heavenly Flame. This was something that even Tang Zhen from the Burning Flame Valley didn't possess. No wonder he has the courage to come to the Central Plains. He does indeed possess a trump card. Protector Wu spoke. However, his heart gradually felt a little uneasy. This Skyfire 3 Mysterious Change had three changes. Xiao Yan had already reached the six-star level after two changes. If he were to use it another time, would his strength not, at the very least, reach the seven-star level? It is rumored that each time a change of the Burning Flame Valley's Skyfire 3 Mysterious Change is used, the energy that is formed is extremely wild and violent. Even some of their elders don't dare unleash the third change. With this brat's ability, he should have yet to reach that level. Protector Wu felt a little relaxed after comforting himself within his heart. He was about to raise his head when he saw Xiao Yan on the opposite side, changing the seal formed by his hands. His face instantly stiffened. Xiao Yan's eyes stared firmly at Protector Wu as his black fog was rapidly fluctuating. The ferocious smile on Xiao Yan's face was slowly whitened. At the same time, a dense white-colored flame suddenly erupted from his body in front of a countless number of stunned eyes. Skyfire 3 Mysterious Change, Third Change. End of chapter. Chapter 1096. Terrifying Increase in Strength. A dense white flame surged out of Xiao Yan's body in front of the many shocked eyes before it was immediately withdrawn, shrinking back into Xiao Yan's body with lightning-like speed. Following the return of the flame, an unusually powerful aura slowly erupted from Xiao Yan's body, as though it had just been awoken. The surrounding space began to fluctuate under this vast and mighty strength. Xiao Yan stood in the sky. His face was unusually bright red. Even his dark black eyes were covered by a wild and violent energy. This kind of fierce and untamed caused even Xiao Yan to quietly be surprised. He had not expected the eruption of three types of heavenly flames to create such a violent energy. Xiao Yan slowly clenched his fist with much difficulty. His entire body had become a little rigid due to the surging energy. This kind of rigidity lasted for a couple of minutes before Xiao Yan gradually became accustomed to it. What an overbearing Skyfire 3 mysterious change. After his body gradually adapted to this kind of wild, violent energy, even Xiao Yan could not resist gently inhaling a breath of cool air. If his body had not been refined by many natural treasures, it was likely that he could forget about using it to fight an opponent. He would suffer a backlash and die after having just used this thing. 
Huh. A mouthful of hot air was spat out of Xiao Yan's mouth. The flush redness on his face gradually paled. The wave after wave of pain that had been brought about by the circulating wild and violent energy gradually diminished. After being tempered by an unknown number of medicinal ingredients and natural treasures, the physical strength of Xiao Yan was likely something that even some experts at the peak of the Du Zong class could not compare with. No wonder Tang Zhen instructed me to avoid using the three changes unless I have no choice. His words were indeed full of truth. Xiao Yan gently clenched his hand. He sensed a surging energy within his body, and the corner of his mouth was slowly lifted into a slight arc. However, this kind of feeling, after having endured the pain, is indeed extremely splendid. Based on Xiao Yan's own guess, his current strength had likely reached the level of a seven-star Du Zong. In other words, the Skyfire 3 mysterious change had caused his strength to raise five stars. If an ordinary Burning Flame Valley's elder were to completely unleash the Skyfire 3 mysterious change, he might be able to increase his strength by three stars or so. However, the Skyfire 3 mysterious change had an extremely unique and mysterious aspect. The increase in one's strength was completely determined by the strength of the flame. The stronger the flame, the greater the increase in one's strength. The three types of flames Xiao Yan had unleashed were all heavenly flames, the strongest of all flames. Hence, the increases, brought about by the eruption, were quite terrifying. Of course, the current increase in strength might be extremely great, but the sequelae that it would bring would naturally also be great. Fortunately, Xiao Yan's body was far stronger than an ordinary expert's body. Otherwise, just this eruption alone would have been enough to cause him to spend half a year or more recuperating. This transformation of Xiao Yan had also attracted the attention of Tian Ho Zunji and Tian Shuang Zi, who were merely facing each other without fighting. Their gazes drifted over. Tian Ho Zunji nodded with a smile. Even he had difficulty knowing all the trump cards that Xiao Yan possessed. However, he also understood that this person might appear young, but anyone who really wanted to kill him would likely find the experience unbelievably difficult. Tian Shuang Zi's eyes glanced over for a moment before slightly frowning. However, he did not pay much attention to the matter. Regardless of how strong the secret technique one used, that person would not be too much of a threat in his eyes, as long as that person did not break through to the Du Zun class. The only person whom he viewed seriously was Jian Ho Zunji in front of him. As for Xiao Yan, even if Protector Wu could not deal with him, there would naturally be Tian Shi and some Ice River Valley's elders intervening. He did not believe that a mere two-star Du Zong would be able to turn everything around, even if he did possess the Burning Flame Valley's secret technique. Xiao Yan was naturally unaware of the thoughts in this old fellow's heart. After gradually adapting to the majestic wild, violent energy within his body, he once again lifted up the heavy Shuin ruler. He slightly raised his head, and his eyes landed on Protector Wu, whose black fog had stiffened, and Xiao Yan then glanced at Tianqi beside him, whose expression had turned gloomy. All of this was because of his transformation. Xiao Yan finally parted his mouth and said, old fellow, I said that I would take this old life of yours today. The sluggish, black fog slowly flowed once again. A face that was filled with a dark solemnness was revealed. Protector Wu's eyes were dense as he looked at Xiao Yan and said, what arrogant words. This secret technique might significantly raise your strength, but there is ultimately a time limit. Once the time limit of the secret technique is reached, you will just be a useless person. Before that happens, there's more than enough time to kill you. Xiao Yan smiled. However, this smile was filled with killing intent. What arrogance. Protector Wu coldly laughed. However, his voice had just sounded when he saw Xiao Yan's body suddenly tremble. A chill surged into Protector Wu's heart when Xiao Yan's body trembled. His sharp instincts over the years maneuvered his body as he hurriedly withdrew in a lightning-like manner. Just when Protector Wu had just taken two steps back, the space in front of him suddenly fluctuated. A ghost-like figure suddenly appeared. The heavy ruler, which was covered by a jade-green flame, carried a terrifying force that caused his skin to feel a chill as it furiously hacked down. The heavy ruler adhered to the front of Protector Wu as it narrowly passed him. Although it failed to make contact, the heat contained on it still caused Protector Wu's face to instantly turn bright red. Protector Wu's body swiftly moved back after the ruler missed. A cold sweat involuntarily appeared in his heart. His back was covered in perspiration. If he had not reacted quickly earlier, it was likely that he would have been turned into mincemeat from Xiao Yan's slamming ruler attack. 
This brat's speed has become very fast after using that secret technique. Even I am unable to follow him. Protector Wu involuntarily felt some anger from embarrassment after the cold perspiration appeared. He let out a low furious roar, this protector doesn't believe that you, as a younger generation, can flip the sky around when even Yao Chen was unable to escape my hands. The furious roar had just sounded when Protector Wu abruptly changed the seal formed by his hands. One could hear a clanging sound as numerous dark black chains shot out of the black fog. Looking from a distance, they appeared just like an enormous spider web. Protector Wu was located in the middle of that large spider web, appearing just like a great demon. A low cry was emitted from the black fog. Immediately, numerous black shadows carried a sharp screech as they surged out of the black fog. These black shadows had just appeared when they adhered to the black colored chains that had spread apart. After the approach of these black shadows, the black colored chains appeared like numerous ferocious mouths that swallowed these black shadows. Immediately, strange black glows began to linger over the chains. Hundred Soul Locking Sky Python. After swallowing the black shadows, the black colored chain became more unusual. Immediately, a dense cold cry suddenly sounded. The numerous black colored chains that reached toward the sky immediately emitted a clanging sound as they bunched together. In merely an instant, they turned into a large black python that seemed alive. The black python was formed from many chains. At a glance, it seemed to be emitting a strange, metallic feeling. Black fog lingered over it as a kind of terrifying, cold aura spread from it. It appeared as though it was a large snake in some deep ravine, causing one to feel a fear by simply looking at it. Go. The black fog wiggled as a dense cold voice sounded. The enormous black python's large eyes immediately displayed a black glint. It swung its tail, tore through the space, and rushed toward Xiao Yan in a lightning-like manner. Xiao Yan remained in the sky. His eyes were icy cold as he looked at the large black python that was jolting over with the sound of rushing wind. He inhaled a gentle breath before suddenly tightly clenching the heavy Shuin ruler in his hand. His body advanced instead of withdrawing. In front of many startled eyes, he used a fierce momentum similar to colliding meteorites as he charged toward that enormous black python. Flame splitting tsunami. Xiao Yan's body had just moved when the heavy ruler was suddenly swung. A large ruler glow, a hundred feet large, shot from the tip of his heavy ruler. Immediately, it ruthlessly hacked against the black python. Wave after wave of golden metallic sounds erupted. Sparks shot in all directions. However, this attack merely caused the black python's body to tremble a little. Six-joint body flowing ruler, six-joint flame. Xiao Yan's expression was dark and chilly after the ruler attack fell. He changed his ruler technique and another sharp ruler glow that caused some Ice River Valley's elders to feel their skin turning numb again, struck the black python. The hacking this time around caused some of the black colored chains to emit a sharp screech. They had actually broken apart. Xiao Yan's body moved closer to the large python. The black python, that had been ruthlessly hit twice by Xiao Yan, unleashed a counter-attack under Protector Wu's control. One could see it opening its large mouth as a viscous black fog explosively shot forth. The interior of the black fog contained countless sharp screeches that caused one's soul to feel a piercing pain. Bang! The black air shot over in an explosive fashion. However, Xiao Yan's forward-charging body did not pause because of it. A jade green flame surged out of his body and formed a fire curtain in front of him. The vicious black fog emitted a sizzling white smoke when it came into contact with the fire curtain before being annihilated. Xiao Yan easily blocked the attack by the black python. After which, his body moved, and he appeared in front of it. He flipped his hand, and the heavy ruler was withdrawn into his storage ring. Seals were formed in a lightning-like manner by his hands as a bright crystal glow swiftly agglomerated. Open mountain seal. Xiao Yan's hand seal suddenly trembled. His eyes were icy cold as his left hand suddenly struck forward. It carried a vast, mighty strength as it ruthlessly landed on the black python's forehead. Many chains on the forehead of the black python were blasted apart after his palm fell. Tons of cold, black air seeped out. Xiao Yan's left hand fell while his right hand struck forward once again. See, flipping seal. The left palm spit mountains while the right hand flipped seas. By relying on the frightening strength that had been obtained with the Skyfire 3 mysterious change, Xiao Yan had used the first two seals of the God Seal skill together. If Shunar were to see such mastery, she would involuntarily let out a gasp of surprise. 
The sea-flipping seal was accompanied by a shocking, majestic strength as it violently struck the head of the enormous python in front of many stunned eyes. Bang! The body of the enormous python slowly stiffened. A moment later, a low and deep noise sounded. One could see its body slowly collapse, transforming into a countless number of crack chains. They blasted apart amid wave after wave of sharp screeches. The dark soul python that Protector Wu had spent a great amount of effort to create had crumbled in the face of Xiao Yan's string of fierce dew techniques. While looking at the dark soul python, which had been killed by Xiao Yan in a lightning bolt-like fashion, before it could be of much use, even Protector Wu, himself, felt a great disbelief. His eyes were startled as he looked at the haughty figure in the air. His breath had yet to be even emitted from his throat when his eyes suddenly shrank. The figure in the air slowly disappeared. At the same time, the space in front of Protector Wu became distorted. A figure mysteriously appeared. That young face was wearing a ferocious smile. His hand contained an exquisite and pretty lotus that was quietly rotating. This palm is for my teacher. The ferociousness on Xiao Yan's face slowly spread. At the same time, the fire lotus in his hand was shot out in a lightning-like fashion. Finally, it was violently pressed into Protector Wu's body in front of his shocked eyes. Bang! A soul-stirring sound once again exploded. End of chapter. Chapter 1097. Easy crushing. Bang! The soul-stirring explosion sounded. A surging fire wave swept through the sky at this moment. The fire wave rolled and spread. The high temperature caused the city, which had turned icy cold because of the cold air covering it, to swiftly become warm. Countless numbers of eyes all over the city watched the fire wave spreading across the sky. Their eyes were filled with shock. Within less than five minutes, Xiao Yan had completed a perfect counterattack and turned the situation of him being continuously defeated around. By relying on his two-star Du Zong strength, he had defeated Protector Wu, whose strength had reached that of an eight-star Du Zong. Such a situation was extremely unbelievable to everyone's eyes. The gap between every star in the Du Zong class was unusually wide. Attempting to fight an opponent across stars was not something an ordinary person could accomplish, yet the situation appearing in front of them caused the skin on the heads of quite a number of people to become numb. This fellow was really far too abnormal. Tianxi's group swiftly pulled some distance away in the face of the fire wave that was spreading over. His expression changed a little as he looked at the spreading fire wave. The frightening fighting strength that Xiao Yan had suddenly unleashed caused even him to feel somewhat afraid. The continuous string of high-class Du skills earlier possessed a destructive strength that was far too strong. Tianxi turned his head. He exchanged looks with a couple of Ice River Valley's elders. Some killing intent flashed across his eyes as he did so. This person already had such an advantage at such a young age. If he were allowed to grow, it was likely that he would become a great enemy of the Ice River Valley in the future. Therefore, this person must not be allowed to live. The members of the Yi clan within the Yi clan manor watched the extremely intense battle in the sky. They involuntarily inhaled a deep breath of cool air, especially Yi Zhong. His eyes revealed his disbelief. He had never expected this young man, who appeared ordinary on the surface, to be this terrifying once he erupted. No wonder Xin Lan is so certain that he can save our Yi clan. This person is indeed extraordinary. The spreading fire wave in the sky finally disappeared in front of a countless number of gazes. The scene within was also gradually revealed. The first thing that entered one's sight was the young man with his tidy clothes. The soul-stirring explosion from earlier did not cause him the slightest injury. His aura was still strong and mighty, causing one to feel shocked. There was a black figure suspended in the air opposite him. Clearly, that figure was Protector Wu, who had suffered a heavy blow from the fire lotus. However, at this moment, the permeating black fog around him had been completely exhausted. Having lost the cover of the black fog, Protector Wu's somewhat illusionary body was exposed in front of a countless number of eyes, sparking numerous exclamations. It is actually a spiritual body? This hall of souls is indeed strange. Even the protectors in the hall are spiritual bodies. No wonder they are gathering souls from all over the place. Could it be due to this? Protector Wu's eyes became slightly gloomy after hearing the many private conversations that were transmitted over. That fire lotus explosion from Xiao Yan earlier had destroyed his strongest defense. At the same time, it had caused him to suffer a serious injury. That jade green fire lotus seemed to possess the effect of burning a soul, causing his entire body to be filled with an intense pain. Protector Wu's gaze flickered. 
his eyes were filled with unwillingness as he stared at Xiao Yan. However, he still felt extremely shocked at the frightening fighting strength that Xiao Yan had displayed earlier. Back then, when he had met Xiao Yan for the first time, Xiao Yan was merely a member of the younger generation who had yet to even reach the Du Huang class. Even after borrowing Yao Chen's spiritual strength, he had only just managed to reach the Du Zong class. In his eyes, Xiao Yan had been a weak ant. Now, however, the person who was once an ant in his eyes had completely defeated him. If he had not unleashed all of the spiritual aura in his body at a critical moment, it was likely that he would have died to that fire lotus. This brat was able to break into the hole twice. He does indeed have some ability. Protector Wu clenched his teeth. He seemed to have miscalculated the situation today. He had never expected the ant back then to be able to grow to this unbelievable stage after training for a few short years. Looks like I need to return and transmit this information, so the Hall of Souls will dispatch some additional protectors over. This thought had just flashed through Protector Wu's heart when his heart abruptly tightened. His feet stepped on the ground as he hurriedly withdrew. When his body was withdrawing, a strange figure appeared at the spot where he was located earlier. A fist that was wrapped by a jade green flame, violently smashed against empty air. Some ripples even formed in the space where the fist landed. Once you have lost the black fog, you experts from the Hall of Souls are equivalent to a tiger having lost its claws. You pose no threat. A cold smile surfaced on Xiao Yan's face after his fist missed. His body shook and mysteriously disappeared. Protector Wu felt a chill rising in his heart when he saw Xiao Yan's figure disappear once again. This brat's speed was really too terrifying. He would not be afraid if he was still in his peak condition. However, after the Fire Lotus's attack, his soul had already suffered a serious injury. He could no longer keep up with Xiao Yan's speed. Protector Wu's foot stepped against empty air. His figure transformed into a black shadow as it withdrew with lightning-like speed, but his withdrawing figure suddenly stiffened. His face was filled with shock as he hurriedly turned around. Black fog surged onto his hand, and countless black shadows surged out of the black fog while emitting a sharp screech. After which, they suddenly exploded with a bang. The explosion formed a fierce circular ripple that spread apart. However, when it spread to a certain empty spot in the air, a fist with a burning jade green flame viciously struck out. Protector Wu's attack was shattered until it withdrew. Immediately, Xiao Yan's attack penetrated through the remnant wave from the explosion and heavily smashed into Protector Wu's chest. Boom. Protector Wu's mouth immediately emitted a miserable cry after he was ruthlessly struck by a palm. His illusionary figure swiftly vibrated as his expression turned ghastly white. If this punch of Xiao Yan had not been blocked by the remnant waves of the exploding spirits, it was likely that it would have taken Protector Wu's life. Protector Wu borrowed this pushing force, and his body flew back with lightning-like speed. A somewhat panicking screech was involuntarily emitted, Elder Tianxi, lend me a hand. Xiao Yan's ghost-like figure once again appeared in front of Protector Wu, after the roar had just sounded. His face was lifted into a savage smile as a fist ruthlessly smashed against Protector Wu's head. If this punch made contact, Protector Wu's soul would definitely be shattered on the spot. Bang. A fist was swung. However, just when it was about to smash into Protector Wu's head, an elderly figure appeared in a lightning-like manner. His shriveled hand grabbed Xiao Yan's fist. Two frightening forces erupted from the point of contact before transforming into an air wave that spread apart. Young man, why is there a need to have such a strong killing aura? Tianxi held his snake-shaped walking stick. His other hand was grabbing Xiao Yan's fist as he slowly inquired. Are you finally unable to endure any longer? Xiao Yan's face gradually turned gloomy upon seeing Tianxi intervening. He let out a cold laugh before his leg gave a kick. A sharp force formed a blade at the tip of his toes while emitting a dark chill. Bang. Tianxi's expression was as deep as water. The snake-shaped walking stick in his hand shook strangely and blocked Xiao Yan's kick. Immediately, his body swiftly took a couple of steps back and brought Protector Wu, who was behind him, away at the same time. Elder Tianxi, help me capture this brat. The Hall of Souls will give you a big thanks. If you feel that it is troublesome, you can also just delay him. I have already unleashed a signal. Soon, there will be some experts from the Hall of Souls who will come to lend a hand. At that time, this brat will definitely have difficulty escaping. Protector Wu's eyes were vicious as they stared at Xiao Yan. His tone was dense when he spoke. At this moment, he also understood that with his strength alone, it was impossible to capture Xiao Yan. 
If he were to fight alone, he might even end up perishing in Xiao Yan's hands. He had narrowly kept his life during the few exchanges earlier. If it was not due to his luck, it was likely that he would have already died. Tianxi smiled and nodded in the face of Protector Wu's words. There would be quite a great benefit if it was possible to befriend a powerful faction like the Hall of Souls. Additionally, he already had a killing intent towards Xiao Yan in his heart. Naturally, he would not reject Protector Wu's request. Protector Wu, please rest assured. You can lead him to my Ice River Valley. Tianxi softly laughed. After which, his dark, dense eyes were turned to Xiao Yan. He waved his hand gently and said, Bing Xuan, Bing Hua, this brat is a little strange. The two of you should join hands with me and use the fastest speed to capture him. The two Ice River Valley's elders by the side were startled when they heard his words. They immediately replied with some hesitation, Old Shi, there are so many people watching. Isn't it a little inappropriate for the three of us to attack a member of the younger generation together? Younger generation? Tianxi coldly laughed when he heard their question. He looked at the two of them and said, even if the two of you were to join hands to deal with this brat, it is likely that you would meet your doom, yet you dare address him as someone from the younger generation? Bing Xuan and Bing Hua were startled. Immediately, they felt some embarrassment. The strength of the two of them had only just reached that of seven star Du Zongs. They were much weaker compared to Protector Wu. The miserable ending of Protector Wu earlier had been witnessed by them. If Tianxi had not intervened, it was likely that he would have died to Xiao Yan's hands. Therefore, they were unable to find anything to refute Tianxi's words. After all, his words were indeed true. Bing Xuan and Bing Ho exchanged glances with one another before clenching their teeth and nodding their heads. Immediately, they moved their bodies and formed a triangular formation with Tianxi, surrounding Xiao Yan in the process. Sharp auras slowly locked onto Xiao Yan. Numerous exclamations were immediately emitted from Yi City when they saw this scene in the sky. This ice river valley intended to deploy three elders at the same time to deal with that unfamiliar young man. The questioning of others is merely just empty words. True reputation will only exist in the hands of those who survive. Those who bother about empty reputations will sooner or later perish. Tianxi ignored the uproar below as his gaze slowly focused on Xiao Yan. Finally, he uttered those words in a slow manner. The Yu after using the Skyfire 3 mysterious change is indeed very strong. However, you cannot turn the situation around today. If you surrender now, you will still be able to avoid suffering. Xiao Yan scoffed at Tianxi's words. His eyes swept around him, and his expression slowly became grave. Two seven-star Du Zongs and one Du Zong at the peak. With this lineup, it was really not difficult to capture and kill him. However, this was on the precondition of Xiao Yan not using his other trump cards. Unfortunately. Xiao Yan's expression gradually became calm. His hands were pressed gently together. After which, they formed many strange seals. Following the changing seals, the temperature around him suddenly soared. Five Ring Flame Expelling Technique. Five Ring Flame Expelling Technique. Tian Ho Zunji's ultimate move. Xiao Yan had never completely unleashed it ever since he had begun practicing it. Hence, he similarly had little knowledge of the might of this Du skill which Tian Ho Zunji claimed to be almost comparable to a Tian class Du skill. Today, however, this Du skill was completely unleashed by Xiao Yan's hands because of this dangerous situation. End of chapter. Chapter 1098. Sky Incinerating Expelling Flames. The seal formed by Xiao Yan's hands suddenly stiffened after the cold cry sounded in his heart. He clenched his hand, and a deep blue-colored flame slowly curled and rose from his palm. This deep blue flame was called the Sea Demon Flame. It was not a heavenly flame. Instead, it was merely one of the stronger beast flames that Xiao Yan had obtained when collecting beast flames. This flame originated from the body of a rank 7 magical beast, the Sea Demon Beast. It was quite strong. Of course, it was naturally unable to compare with a heavenly flame. However, this thing cannot be missing now that Xiao Yan wanted to use the Five Ring Flame Expelling Technique. The deep blue flame appeared and immediately swelled. It wiggled in a mysterious manner before transforming into a hundred-foot-large deep blue firewolf. The five-ring flame expelling technique required five types of flames to form five different fire spirits. A wolf, a leopard, a lion, a tiger, and a dragon. Only when all five types of fire spirits appeared together would it be possible to form the five-ring flame expelling formation. Its strength was extremely frightening. 
However, it was a little unfortunate that Xiao Yan was only able to form three figures of the five spirits, using three types of heavenly flames. Thus, its strength would be slightly reduced. Even if that was the case, its strength was still sufficient to burn the seas and boil the skies. The seal of Xiao Yan's hands changed once again after forming the fire wolf spirit. A fiery red bead quietly appeared in his palm. The sunlight from the sky caused a large cluster of white colored flames to appear on Xiao Yan's palm. Xiao Yan's mind controlled this cluster of white colored flames as it swiftly wiggled. Within a short period of time, it agglomerated into a fire leopard spirit. With Xiao Yan's current flame controlling ability and his practice of the flame creation skill, he had already reached the requirement needed for this five ring flame expelling technique. The formation of five types of fire spirits did not pose much difficulty to him. A large fire wolf and fire leopard stood in front of Xiao Yan in a ferocious manner. They emitted a low roar to Tianqi's group. This action of Xiao Yan had also caused Tianqi's group to be somewhat surprised. They were a little uncertain about Xiao Yan's intention. While Tianqi's group was feeling surprise, Xiao Yan's hands once again swiftly changed. A green, invisible, and dense white flames slowly appeared from his palm one after another. Following the appearance of these three types of heavenly flames, the temperature of this place significantly rose. The cold air barrier that covered Yi City intensely fluctuated. However, it was fortunate that there were many Ice River Valley's disciples providing cold key to it. Therefore no paleness could be found on the barrier of cold air. The familiarity Xiao Yan had over these three types of heavenly flame was far greater than the two flames from earlier. Hence, the formation of the last three types of fire beast did not exhaust too much time. Within a few minutes, a lifelike lion fire spirit, a lifelike tiger fire spirit, and a lifelike dragon fire spirit were born from the churning heavenly flames appearing in this place. The space of the sky trembled following the appearance of these five types of fire spirits. The originally quiet natural energy also seemed to be dragged by something as it became extremely violent. The sudden change that it appeared stirred the surprise of a countless number of people. A moment later, numerous gazes were thrown to the five large fire spirits beside Xiao Yan without any prior agreement. These five large beings had only just appeared when such a change was formed in nature. Clearly, there was definitely a relation between the occurrences. Five Ring Flame Expelling Technique it is unexpected that this little fellow has practiced it to this stage. Kiki, by having practiced my Du technique, he can be considered to have obtained some of my inheritance, right? Tian Ho Zun Ji's eyes was also attracted by the ripple in nature. Surprise flashed across his eyes when he saw the five familiar fire spirits. The corner of his mouth was immediately a little pleased. This Ice River Valley's way of doing things does really match the word despicable. Forget about bullying someone younger just because you are older. Now, you even want to bully others with numbers. That really diminishes the prestige of a large sect. Tian Ho Zun Ji glanced at Tian Shuang Zi in front of him and faintly chastised. The winner becomes the king while the loser becomes the bandit. My Ice River Valley only cares about the results when doing anything, not the process of how it is done. Tian Shuang Zi gave a smile in the face of Tian Ho Zun Ji's mockery. He said, however, the performance of this brat has far exceeded my expectations. He will no longer have the protection of luck this time around. Tian Shuang Zi clearly understood the strength of Tian Shi. Although Tian Shi had failed the last time, the reason for that was due to Tian Ho Zun Ji. Moreover, he was currently aided by two Ice River Valley's elders. With the three of them joining hands, no one below the level of a Du Zun could fight with them. There was no need to even talk about Xiao Yan. Tian Ho Zun Ji remained non-committal. These two people stood in the sky without anyone being able to see through them. A big battle had erupted in the other place, but this side, which ought to be the battle that would attract the most attention, had two people facing each other like wooden pillars. They showed no traces of being about to fight. Of course, this kind of outer appearance was naturally only what an ordinary expert could see. In the eyes of those with good eyesight, they would naturally understand that Tian Ho Zun Ji and Tian Shuang Zi had just experienced a dangerous clash. Both parties' auras were locked onto each other. As long as the aura either of them fluctuated even a little due to an external event, they would immediately attract a truly storm-like attack. An elite Duzun normally did not fight, but when they do, they would unleash a truly terrifying attack. The change in nature naturally did not escape the notice of Tianqi's group. Their expressions immediately changed a little as their eyes sank while looking at the five fire spirits around Xiaoyan. Don't delay any longer. 
attack. Tianxi felt a little uneasiness within his heart. His expression was gloomy as he slammed the snake-shaped walking stick in his hand down, and he cried out with a deep voice. Bing Xuan and Bing Hua nodded slightly upon hearing Tianxi's words. They curled their hands, and an ice-cold aura swiftly surged. Immediately, it transformed into two flickering ice swords. Threads of bone-chilling air continuously seeped out of them. The five fire spirit lingered around Xiao Yan's body. Hot flames continuously surged out of their bodies. Their high temperatures caused even the space itself to distort. Qi. Xiao Yan stood amid the fire spirits. His expression was calm. At a certain instant, he lifted his brows as a sharp cold wind rushed up from behind him, striking at his fatal spot behind his head. Xiao Yan did not move his body in the face of this cold wind attack that had suddenly erupted. The wolf and leopard fire spirit by the sight emitted low, deep roars. Two waves of flames shot out of their mouths and completely blocked the cold air that was rushing over in an explosive fashion. Five ring flame expelling technique in formation. The sudden sneak attack that had erupted also broke the stalemate. A coldness flashed across Xiao Yan's eyes. The seal formed by his hands changed suddenly as a cold cry was emitted from his mouth. After Xiao Yan's cry sounded, the five fire spirits beside him emitted a swoosh sound as they rushed out, forming a pentagon shape. They completely covered an area within a hundred meter radius as they moved. Roar. Low and deep roars were emitted from the mouths of the five fire spirits. Immediately, five completely different colored fire pillars were shot out of their mouths. After which, they shot straight into each other's bodies, forming a perfect pentagon light shape. Chi Chi. After the fire pillars were emitted into each other's body, the surface of the five fire spirits emitted a bright luster. Numerous light pillars erupted from their bodies. They immediately rushed out and transformed into many light rays that began to draw the shape of a mysterious large formation. The rays of light crossed and orbited each other. Within a short moment, they had actually created an extremely complicated light formation in the sky. The light formation had just been formed when a bright fire curtain rushed down, covering the space within a hundred meter radius within it. Tianxi and the two others were also caught within this fire curtain. This sudden unexpected change caused the expression of Tianxi's group to change. Their bodies moved and gathered together. All of their hands moved and majestic cold auras surged out. Finally, they violently smashed into the surrounding fire curtain. However, all it did was cause the fire curtain to fluctuate a little. Their cold auras automatically disappeared upon contact with the fire curtain. Old Shi, the fire affinity energy within this formation is really too wild and violent. The Du Qi within our bodies is being suppressed. Bing Xuan's expression changed as he uttered some words after sensing that his attack had considerably weakened. Tianxi's face was gloomy. His gaze was dark and dense as he looked at Xiao Yan, who was also within this great formation. He spoke in a dense manner, there is no need to panic. Regardless of how many tactics this brat has, he will definitely be unable to defeat the three of us. Therefore, don't panic and lose focus. Xiao Yan looked at Tianxi's group within the formation and coldly laughed, that may not be certain. The hand seal of Xiao Yan's hand suddenly changed after his voice sounded. Following the transformation of his hand, the surrounding fire curtain began to form ripples. Immediately, a five-colored, brilliant flame surged out of it. After which, it transformed into a sea of flames that filled the light formation. The five-colored flame was extremely beautiful. However, when this flame appeared, even Tianxi's expression became ugly despite his strength, because he clearly sensed a kind of unusually destructive energy within the flame. Three types of heavenly flames, one type of beast flames, and one type of mysterious sun flame. The five types of flames merged together and stimulated each other. The final creation could only be described by the word frightening. Sky incinerating expelling flames. Xiao Yan's expression was ice cold. The Du Qi within his body continuously surged out. Finally, it entered the fire curtain around him. His finger suddenly pointed at Jian Shi's three men group below. The unusually frightening five-colored flame immediately appeared like a ferocious beast as it swept toward Tianxi's group while being accompanied by distorted space. The current Xiao Yan had reached the strength of a seven-star Du Zong after having unleashed the Skyfire Three mysterious change. There was not much of a gap between him and Tianxi. After adding the fighting strength that was erupted from the five-ring flame expelling technique, even Tianxi could not help but feel shock within his heart. Tianxi's expression slightly changed when he saw the colorful flame sweep over from all directions. 
Bing Xuan and Bing Hua behind him felt their heads become numb. They could clearly sense an extremely violent, destructive might within the beautiful flame. This kind of destructive strength was something that even someone as strong as Jian Shi needed to treat seriously. Otherwise, he would only end up dying on the spot. At this moment, the extremely proud elder Jian Shi could not help but withdraw the poor estimation he made for Xiao Yan. End of chapter. Chapter 1099? Terrifying Clash. The beautiful, five-colored flame swept across the sky. Its frighteningly high temperature caused the air to distort. One sight would appear a little blurry when one looked over. Faced with this terrifying, five-colored flames, a countless number of people within Yi City experienced a change in their expressions. Even with the isolation of the fire curtain, they could still sense the wild strength that caused one to be scared. It was difficult to imagine just what it would be like if they were in the place of Tianchi's group. This answer was something that those who had not experienced firsthand could not clearly give. However, regardless of how stupid a person was, he would know that this kind of feeling would definitely not allow one to feel good. Of course, it was just as everyone had expected. The expressions of Tianchi's group had become unusually ugly while they stood within the light formation. The destructive strength hidden within the brilliant flame was just like a poison needle hidden in the darkness, causing all of them to feel a continuous chill within their hearts. Old Shi, what should we do? Bing Shuan swallowed a mouthful of saliva. His expression contained a little panic. That bright, five-colored sea of fire was really too frightening. If they were to allow themselves to fall into it, it was likely that the remaining two seven-star Du Zongs would end up with a terrible fate. They were practitioners of icy cold Du Qi. Currently, the five-colored flame had coincidentally suppressed them. If they did not use some techniques, it was likely that they would perish in this place when the flame arrived. What is there to panic about? Tianchi's expression sank as he coldly reprimanded. He immediately continued in a deep tone, he may have a formation, but so does our Ice River Valley. Form the Ice River Formation. This brat's explosive force is indeed very strong, but it will definitely be unable to last for long. Once the time limit of his Skyfire 3 mysterious change is up, this great formation will naturally be broken. At that time, it would only be too easy to kill him. Tianchi was indeed worthy of being an expert renowned throughout the Pill region. Even in the face of such a situation, he did not reveal the slightest panic. Instead, he had identified the fatal weakness of Xiao Yan's strength within a sentence. Bing Xuan's and Bing Hua's old faces turned red when they heard Tian Shi reprimanding them. They immediately nodded. Both of them stepped forward and took a position of the formation. A bone-chilling aura surged out of their bodies. Tianchi's expression was dark and solemn as he looked at Xiao Yan in the distance. The snake-shaped walking stick in his hands slammed heavily against the empty air. The vast mighty cold aura surged out of his body and merged with the cold aura from the other two. It solidified into a clear white ice mirror that protected the three of them. The snow-white ice mirror was completely formed form the mighty aura of these three people. Its defensive strength was extremely terrifying. It was likely that even an expert at the peak of the Du Zong class would have difficulty breaking it, even after using their entire strength. When this ice mirror was formed, the five-colored sea of flames came pouncing over. After which, it drowned the cold ice mirror within a fierce, intense flame. The five-colored flame had just made contact with the snow-white cold ice mirror's surface when it suddenly emitted a sizzling sound. Tons of white-colored cold fog poured from the surface of the ice-cold mirror, wildly blocking the burning and grilling of the five-colored flames. Chi-chi. Droplets of ice-cold water continuously appeared on the surface of the ice mirror. After which, they rolled down the smooth mirror and were swiftly vaporized by the churning five-colored flame into nothingness. A brilliant sea of flames permeated the interior of the large light formation. A snow-white ice mirror surfaced in the middle of the sea of flame. One could vaguely see three blurry figures within it. Xiao Yan's eyes were cold and indifferent as he stared at the surface of the mirror that was melting. The corner of his mouth revealed a cold smile. The creation of the five types of flames created an overbearingness that even Xiao Yan himself was surprised about. Although there was indeed quite a big gap between Yanxi and him, by relying on the Skyfire 3 mysterious change and the five ring flame expelling technique, this gap had already shrunk until it was extremely small. Attempting to forcefully fight against this five-colored flame at this moment could only be described as seeking one's own suffering. The five-colored sea of flames fiercely burned. Its terrifying temperature caused the interior of the light formation to become extremely distorted. There were even some dark black spatial scars appearing. 
The thick crystal layer of the snow-white ice mirror within the sea of flame was melting. The melting speed caused Tianxi's group to involuntarily change their expressions. Due to the suppression of their affinity, this five-colored flame's destructive strength could be described as having reached an extremely vivid state. Old Shi, if this continues, it will be too much of a drain on our Du Qi. We might not even be able to endure until the time limit of that brat's secret technique is up. Bing Xuan's palm was supporting the ice layer above his head. Cold Qi was following his arm and pouring into the ice layer. Even though this was the case, he was still able to sense an extremely wild and violent heat seeping in. Tianxi's expression was volatile. He had underestimated the destructive strength of the five colored flames. Transfer all of the ice's unforce within your bodies into mine when the ice mirror shatters. I will use the attack and kill that brat in one blow. Bing Xuan and Bing Hua hesitated for a moment after hearing Tianxi's dense cold voice. Immediately, they could only emit a bitterness from their mouth as a nod. If the interior of their bodies did not possess the protection of the ice zone force, it was likely that they would suffer a ruthless searing pain in this terrifying sea of flames. Tianxi ignored their bitter smiles. His eyes were focused intently on a space outside of the ice mirror. There was a vague figure at that spot. Crack. The five-colored flame crazily raged. Under its terrifyingly high temperature, the amount of water droplets on the tough ice mirror began to increase. The thick ice mirror gradually became thinner. Quite a number of people within Yi City felt their heads become numb as they watched this exchange within the light formation. That young figure had given them a shock that they had difficulty imagining. Not only did he defeat a protector from the Hall of Souls, but he was currently relying on his own strength to trap the three great elders of the Ice River Valley within the Sea of Flames, causing them to be unable to move. This battle result would cause some heated blood to boil by just hearing about it, much less personally witnessing it at this moment. Crack. A slight sound was suddenly emitted from within the light formation, while a countless number of gazes were focusing on it. Immediately, many eyes abruptly narrowed. One could see numerous tiny cracks beginning to spread over the tough ice mirror. What a terrifying sea of flames. Even the combined strength of the three ice river valley's elders could not block it. Countless numbers of exclamations were immediately emitted from within Yi City when they saw the scene. Boom. The cracks spread at a faster speed. In the end, the ice mirror suddenly shook and blasted apart. Countless ice fragments shot in all directions as a shockingly cold aura spread out. For an instant, it even forced back this five-colored flame. While the cold key spread, Bing Xuan and Bing Hua let out a furious cry as each of them placed a palm on Tianchi's back. A vast mighty Du Qi that contained a tiny ice crumb surged into Tianchi's body. After the ice zone force within Bing Xuan's and Bing Hua's bodies was inserted into Tianchi's body, one could hear a crack sound. Layer after layer of faint blue ice was quietly emitted from under Tianchi's skin. In an instant, it formed a thin pale blue ice cloth on the surface of his body. A wave of extremely terrifying pale blue-colored cold air suddenly surged out of Tianxi's body when this ice layer appeared. In the face of this pale blue-colored cold air, one could see the surrounding five-colored flame pushed over a hundred feet away. Waves of dense white fog would erupt each time the flame pounced over. Tianxi sensed a terrifyingly high temperature that the five-colored flame radiated when the pale blue ice layer appeared. Over half of it had actually disappeared. Immediately, a fierce glint flashed over both of his eyes. He raised his head and stared at the distant Xiao Yan in a dense manner. His voice contained an incomparable chill as it reverberated over the light formation. Brat, it ends here. The dense voice had just sounded when Tianxi suddenly clenched his hand. Wave after wave of liquid, like faint blue energy, surged out of his hand. This kind of faint blue-colored energy still had some tiny ice fragments floating within it, emitting a strange luster. Tianchi's hand grabbed this faint blue-colored liquid. After which, he suddenly pulled. This cluster of liquid wiggled and formed a 20-foot-large blue ice bow. The cold air in this place suddenly surged after this ice bow appeared. After which, even the monstrous five-colored flame from earlier began to withdraw some distance away. Ice God Bow. Tianchi's expression was dark and cold. His hand pulled the bowstring. A creaking sound was emitted as the bow was pulled until it was fully extended. The terrifying cold air gathered and a 10-foot-large blue-colored ice arrow slowly appeared on the bow's string. The appearance of the ice arrow caused Xiao Yan's expression to sink. He could sense that even the permeating five-colored sea of fire had quietly parted to form a line for the target of the ice arrow. This Tianxi is indeed worthy of being an expert at the peak of the Du Zong class.
He is so difficult to finish off. Xiao Yan gently inhaled a breath of air. A fierceness flashed across his eyes. The seal formed by his hands suddenly changed. Following the change in the seal formed by his hands, the five colored flames that permeated the interior of the light formation began to churn. Immediately, the entire formation surged to Xiao Yan in all directions, gathering on his right hand. Chi Chi. With an increasing amount of five colored flames gathering on Xiao Yan's arm, a hundred foot large five colored flame hand slowly wiggled and appeared. It was worn over Xiao Yan's hand. Looking at it from a distance, it appeared just like the arm of a fire god, possessing unrivaled power that could destroy the world. This arrow will take your life. The corner of Tianxi's eyes were lifted when he saw the enormous flame arm. A ferocious expression was immediately added on his face. With a cold cry, the fully extended bow in hands emitted a bang as it was released. Ice God Arrow, sealing the world in ice. When his fingers were released, the ten-foot-large blue ice arrow emitted a swoosh sound as it rushed out. The cold air of nature surged wherever the arrow passed. Even the surrounding fire curtain turned unusually dim. Xiao Yan's expression was fierce. He looked at the blue line magnifying at a lightning-like speed. The fierceness in it flashed and his body became a little sluggish. After which, his foot stepped on the empty air in front of a countless number of shocked gazes. He waved his fire godlike arm and violently slammed it toward the blue-colored arrow that was being shot over with a fierce momentum that would frighten anyone looking at it. Fire God Arm, Destroying the World. End of chapter. Chapter 1100. Shocking Battle. The five-colored flame and the ice-blue light flee through the sky like meteorites. They used a kind of annihilation-like spectacular momentum and crushed ruthlessly together in front of a countless number of gazes. Bang. The enormous flame hand was just like an arm that was furiously swung by a fire god. It emitted a world-destroying strength when it came into contact with the arrow. Clang. A sharp piercing sound resounded over the sky. This sound appeared to be able to penetrate one's soul, causing a painful expression to surface on the faces of a countless number of people. They firmly covered their ears. Bang. The ice-blue cold arrow blasted apart in all directions at this moment. Under this terrifying cold air, even empty space itself had a layer of ice fragments permeating over it. The enormous flame fist violently came smashing over from outside of the world that was formed by the cold aura. A frightening five-colored flame and an ice-blue cold air mixed together in an uncontrolled manner as they began a life and death erosion. The five-colored flame and the icy blue cold air each occupied half of the sky. Both of them crazily shot out their energy. That shocking collision shook the sky. Tianxi's body stood in the sky. His body continued to tremble as the pressure that was emitted from within the cold air caused both of his arms to involuntarily feel as though they were about to be torn off. He clearly understood that if he took even half a step back, the destructive force of the large fire god hand would instantly break through the ice god arrow's icy mirror and slam him into mincemeat. Therefore, he would definitely not pull back even if he had to use his last remaining strength. Bing Shuan, Bing Hua, transfer all of your dookie over. Tianxi's expression was savage. His eyes were just like poisonous snakes as they stared at the blurry figure within the cold fog. He furiously roared. Bing Shuan and Bing Hua behind Tianxi were stunned when they heard his furious roar. They immediately grit their teeth as they placed their hands on Tianxi's back. The Du Qi within their bodies continued to surge into the other party's body. The pressure on Tianxi's arm was reduced after receiving the support of their vast mighty Du Qi. A fierceness flashed across his eyes. He sternly cried out, extreme freezing. His cry sounded. The vast and mighty Du Qi he received agglomerated with the Du Qi within his body after which, it surged into the permeating pale blue cold fog. With this support, the temperature of the cold fog became frightening. At this moment, if an ordinary Du Zong were to walk into it, they would be frozen into an ice sculpture within less than ten breaths' time. Moreover, even a soul would not be able to escape from it. Crack crack. A slight cracking sound suddenly appeared. It immediately formed a continuous sound. Xiao Yan's eyes abruptly narrowed as he discovered a thin layer of faint blue ice growing over the enormous fire hand. In the face of this thin ice, even the five-colored flame on the enormous hand had become somewhat dim. The intensity of Tianxi's resistance had far exceeded Xiao Yan's expectations. I cannot continue to be entangled with them. Once the time limit for the Skyfire 3 mysterious flame is up, the interior of my body will enter a weakened state. At that time, forget Tianxi, just an ice river valley's elder, will easily be able to kill me. 
A glint flickered in Xiao Yan's eyes. Immediately, he inhaled a hot air, and the seal formed by his hands changed. One could see the five fire spirits of the five ring flame expelling technique, unleashing a fire glow all over them. Five colored fire pillars shot out before agglomerating into the arm of the enormous fire god. After receiving the fire pillar's strength, the arm of the fire god unleashed a bright glow once again. The ice on it disappeared with lightning-like speed. A fierceness flashed across Xiao Yan's face as he sensed a mighty strength within the arm of the fire god. After which, he swung his fist out and ruthlessly smashed into the permeating cold fog mirror below. Bang! This collision emitted a shockingly loud sound. An enormous energy ripple spread out in a lightning-like manner. After which, it collided with the fire curtain around it, causing the five-ring flame expelling technique to tremble. After the punch landed, the space where the flame and cold air made contact split apart. A five-foot-large dark black hole appeared. The pure darkness within it caused one's head to feel numb. Cold air followed the arm of the fire god as it spread in all directions. The five-colored flame entered the cold fog, causing the frightening, pale blue fog to swiftly scatter. The arm of the fire god began to form numerous lines in the face of the corrosion of the cold air through every single opening it created. At the same time, the cold fog was swiftly scattering. The two frightening energies were diminishing after eroding each other. A sinister smile surfaced on Tianchi's face as he watched the swiftly weakening arm of the fire god and the cold fog. He had successfully blocked Xiao Yan's terrifying attack and believed that it was impossible for Xiao Yan to unleash another attack of such a level. As long as he continued to delay things until the time limit for the Skyfire 3 mysterious flame was up, he would be able to need Xiao Yan as he pleased. The cold air swiftly scattered in front of Tianchi's dark and cold gaze. Just when the cold air had completely vanished, the enormous arm of the fire god also emitted a boom sound and was blasted apart, transforming into ice fragments that scattered from the sky in all directions. Ha ha. Tianchi finally could not control his joy when the arm of the fire god blasted apart. His face became sinister as he laughed out loud. Chi. However, his laughter did not continue for long before it was interrupted by the black figure that had shot down from the sky. Tianchi raised his head and looked at the figure speeding over with sinister eyes. His old face revealed a mocking laugh, you dare to charge over. Do you wish to risk it all? Tianchi's shriveled hand tightly grabbed his snake-shaped walking stick. He stomped his foot and icy blue, cold air once again surged out of his body. Being at the peak of the Du's own class, the strength of his Du Qi was far from what Xiao Yan could compare with. The figure that shot down was extremely swift. Within a flash, it had appeared in front of Tianchi. Xiao Yan's large robe suddenly emitted a sizzling sound at this moment as it turned to ashes. A palm-sized three-colored fire lotus suddenly appeared in a mysterious manner from under Xiao Yan's robes. The sudden appearance of the three-colored fire lotus startled Tianchi. All the pores of his body suddenly opened up. He sensed a kind of strength from the arm of the fire god within this three-colored fire lotus. It was the kind of strength that contained an annihilating aura. Tianchi's eyes had turned to the size of pinholes at this moment. Cold air from all around Tianchi seemed to reflexively gather. A ghost-like figure emitted a swoosh sound as it appeared in front of Tianchi. The three-colored fire lotus in his hand was ruthlessly pressed toward Tianchi's chest with a momentum that even a swift bolt of lightning could not match. This fierce and swift attack caught Tianchi off guard. This kind of terrifying fire lotus required a long time to create. He could not imagine just how Xiao Yan had managed to secretly form this fire lotus without even batting an eyelid. At this moment, it was pointless to think too much. With the only time that Tianchi had, he lifted the snake-shaped walking stick in his hand and used it to block his chest. Boom. A miracle did not occur. Xiao Yan's three-colored fire lotus was ruthlessly pressed into the snake-shaped walking stick on Tianchi's chest while he revealed a ferocious smile. After which, bang. A large firestorm erupted in front of a countless number of shocked eyes, sweeping through the sky as it occurred. The surrounding fire curtain was unable to endure any longer, while the storm ravaged the sky. It blasted apart with a bang. The five fire spirits also slowly scattered at this moment. The firestorm swept around. Bing Xuan and Bing Hua, who were a short distance behind Yanxi, did not have the time to dodge. They were violently struck and ended up spitting out mouthfuls of fresh blood. Their bodies flew back like kites with their strings broken. Finally, they fell to the ground and smashed hard into Yi City. Many of the buildings in Yi City were turned to rubble along the way. 
Countless numbers of gazes were stunned as they watched Bing Shuin and Bing Hua fall. After which, they turned to look to the firestorm in the sky. A chill involuntarily spread across their hearts. Protector Wu in the sky looked at the firestorm. His illusionary body also rippled a little. The fighting strength that Xiao Yan had displayed caused him to feel the fear of death. Now, he finally began to regret his actions. Why did he take the initiative to receive this task, which he thought he would perform successfully with great ease, from the hands of the Honorable Elder? This was because only now did he become aware that this task, which he thought he would very likely succeed, was one that was filled with danger. Bang! A figure suddenly flew out of the firestorm, while Protector Wu was feeling regretful. Bright red fresh blood was repeatedly spat out of his mouth. Tianxi? Protector Wu's sharp eyes saw the ghastly-faced, blood-covered figure that flew out. He was carrying half of the snake-shaped walking stick. It was surprisingly Tianxi. However, the miserable appearance of the current Yanxi was even worse than Protector Wu's earlier state. From the looks of it, he would at the very least end up seriously injured. Boom! Fresh blood covered Tianxi's body as he violently fell into Yi City in front of many eyes. After which, he smashed onto the ground and formed an enormous pit. His body was lying within the pit. No one knew if he was dead or alive. The Ice River Valley has lost. The entire city was silent. Numerous eyes looked at the enormous pit, and their heads felt as though they were about to explode. The battles today had caused their hearts to be filled with only one word. Shock. How many times can one see such a soul-stirring battle in one lifetime? Protector Wu's stunned eyes looked at Tianxi with his unknown fate. The terror in his heart spread. He nodded his head, turned around, and fled. However, Protector Wu had just moved his body when the space behind him fluctuated. Immediately, a hand mysteriously appeared. It gently landed on Protector Wu's shoulder as a feigned voice that caused his entire body to stiffen, slowly sounded. I will turn you to dust if you move again. Protector Wu's throat violently rolled. He slowly turned his head with much difficulty. A ferocious-looking, young face had revealed itself. End of chapter.